What is good, podcast people? We are here again, live from the couch. Uh, watch us now live on YouTube. Uh, so make sure you subscribe to us on Spotify, Apple Music, uh, Audio Mac. <laughs> Ain't uh, take it out. My bad, Caleb. Uh, first twenty minutes. <laughs> yeah. Um, make sure you watch us and drop a comment on our page. Follow Low Agent John. Um, the greatest podcast. Make sure to leave a five star. Or um, on Apple Music. Uh, yeah, we got another great episode today. So to my, to north of me, we have my co-host, Lo, go ahead. We'll, we'll scrap that one out. We'll scrap yeah, that. We'll scrap we'll we'll, that. We'll, 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 we'll scrap we'll that. We'll cut that out. We'll cut that out. No worries. We'll, we'll cut edit, that in post. We'll edit in post. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. That because. Wow. Uh, it's because I said it out of order. Everything. There's a lot of things. It's more than out of order. Yeah, the whole thing. Uh, There's a lot of things that was wrong. I don't outside, put, I don't put like my spice to it. Like y'all say, like a regular chicken. That was sandwich. like oh, that's, a, that you call that spice? I just want to put a little Cajun to it. That was like yeah, a stream of taste consciousness. It, you? you know what I'm saying? Taste how good. That just intro. a lot of keywords. You taste yeah, how good. That's all that was. That's literally what that was. He's like keywords. Automatic. Uh, uh, YouTube. Yeah. Uh, uh, what great, about? What about? What about? about today? TikTok. Uh, uh, yeah. TikTok. Hey, co-host, co-host, <laughs> co-host, co-host, my co-host. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga don't know his left from his right, so he said the north of me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not on the left or right of me. You're north of me. Yo, that podcast people listen one and only legend of winning, aka Low. We back with another episode of the Peer to Peer Podcast. On my left, I have my co-host, Agent Zero. Say what's up. Hey man, it's it's, it's two AM in the morning, man. I'm lying. Even to if these it guys. was, you would not be drawing at hey, two AM in the morning. Hey yo, it's mad, it's mad early in the morning, man. How y'all doing? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Stop! <laughs> you know you was young. You, you realized you had a morning voice. Like that's yeah. how you. That's how you try to talk. I'm gonna call all. The I now. used to no. Nah, I used to, I used to like try to go to school and like retain it. Like oh, this is my voice. Hey y'all, oh, see the rappers right. game. <laughs> like, up, yeah, as soon as you woke up, I had a little raspy voice. Like, oh and, uh, no, let me hurry. We go to I school. Got, real I just quick. got back home from basketball practice. You know, so I took a little nap. But I told yeah. you I was gonna call you when I got back home. Yeah. Time. yeah. You know, but see, I ain't do. I, I try to do it when I woke up, and I went from, oh yeah, I'm really about to start pulling when I get to school. And mom, and you, got, as you got that as, breakfast ready, mom. As yeah. soon as I got to school, I was like, hey guys, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> completely, completely. My voice is uh, done by gonna, the time I got. You there. wake up, she gonna love to do me. <laughs> you go on the, you go on the bus, the AC kick in, you start talking a little bit, and then he's just like, yeah, yeah. shut your dumb ass yeah. son. One time I convinced myself like, oh, this must be puberty, man. <laughs> My nuts finally dropped. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga walk up with his voice. He thought, "Oh man, it's about time." Oh man, it's My about eighteen, dropped. man. What's been going on, man? The day has come. Yeah. And uh, behind it, behind the uh, producer table, we got South John. of you. <laughs> the South of you. South. We have we have John. Say what up, boy? You know what I'm saying it's your boy John back at it like a crack addict. Yeah, I got four arms. I mean, two arms, two legs, Mister Four Fantastic. Mm. I guess, I guess, I guess. Um, I don't know. I, uh, yo, shout out to my podcast. We on all audio platforms: Google Play, Stitcher, Spotify, <laughs> Apple Music. Make sure you rate us. Able Apple Podcasts. Excuse me. Make sure you rank us a five star. Where we at right now? We top. We top five. Top three. Top we one. We number one. Just say we number one, bro. Number one. Number one in gaming podcasting <laughs> ever. Not, not, not all not, time, all time, yeah, for the whole world. Um, also, huge shout out to all my YouTube uh viewers out there as well. Keep rocking with us strong, always on these podcasts. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, leave it, comment in the comment section below. And when you're doing all that, make sure you hit the notification bell so you can join. Know the gang, 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 and word of mouth people on TikTok, um, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. All that, all that stuff. Someone actually made a um a meme of us on on uh, TikTok. How we um you saw that? I saw that. I'm trying to see how many five stars we got. I don't know why. Wait, wait which which meme did you see on TikTok? The one where we was talking about being pissed on. Oh, at the lunch table. Yeah. Wait, which one was that? Where it's going viral, yeah. It and they're like, like girls. Um, like oh, Jacob's so cute over there, and we're talking about getting pissed on at the lunch table. <laughs> Wait, like, what? You know what girls be talking about? Oh, look at him over there. He's so oh, cute. and I didn't see that. I didn't send that to me. Who sent that? Shit? Someone sent that to me. Someone I tagged me on Instagram. I seen it. 
Yeah. Somebody has seen that scene. No, the one that, that went, that other one I saw was, remember we making fun of um Steve Weasel and Steve Harvey was like paying for something? He like he was like, I ain't never paid for a date. Yeah. And then like we were like, yo, nigga got upset because you're paying, right? And we acted out. There's a nigga on TikTok who's like, you're like, oh, he has girl pain, and then Steve Hart just appeared out of nowhere playing the T Rags music in the background. And oh. like the like uh-huh. the like the duh duh that and then Steve oh. Harvey's obliterating this what nigga. Like this? Yeah, he was like he was like, Whoa, you gonna let your you gonna let your you you gonna you gonna let your your girl pay for that? He's like, Oh no, it's it's okay, it's okay. He he just left his card at home. Whoa, 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 whoa! Y'all not gonna go back home? Yeah, you you let your girl talk for you like that? He's like, dog. What you mean, dog? He's like, you know, I ain't want a problem. If we have a problem. With that he said, hey, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's so hilarious. That's but- so funny. And then he turned his head to the side. Like I think I I first seen it with the Nate Rob after Nate Robinson fight. Nate Robinson came to McDonald's. And he was like, Nate Robinson, I get a Big Mac. He said, Oh, can Nate you Robinson. get a book? He said, can yeah, you get a book? Big Mac? He said, <laughs> Can you get a book? What you gonna do if I don't give it to you? Though? <laughs> he said, I just want a Big Mac. He said, What are you gonna do if I don't give you the Big Mac? He, he said, Bro, what are you doing? Like he, he said, Bro, I just he said, Whoa, Nate. <laughs> that that's <laughs> wild when that's, a nigga put his hand. He's yeah. like, Whoa, Nate, Nate, Nate started moving whoa, too what? fast. He was just like. <laughs> He's like, so what you said, bro? You just make that. Whoa. <laughs> what you trying to do, Nate? <laughs> and she's retarded. Uh, before we go any further, man. Um, I, I can't find how many five stars we have on the app. I don't know why my brain stopped yeah. working this morning. I tried so hard for like five minutes, bro. Yeah, man. I know. It's very sad. Interesting. Let me try again. Before we keep going, though, um, yo, huge prayers goes up to um, Tiger Woods. For people out there who don't know, this is like the day after it happened. Uh, Tiger Woods got into a a, a huge car uh, accident. Actually, it was a self car accident. No, no other one. Single car accident, and he, like he just like he literally drove off of like some type of hill or whatever. Um, and I don't want to say what the speculation is, but the speculation is definitely like. Borderline dire, so there is that. Heard his legs were crushed. Yeah, I mean, I didn't want to say paralyzed, but a lot of people are talking he might be paralyzed. Oh, I didn't say that. I didn't know. I but legs that. being, but <laughs> no, but you, when you say, I, I, I know, I know, that. but I didn't, oh, I didn't yeah. even want to say. <laughs> I didn't want to say legs being crushed, but oh yeah, after legs being crushed, it was potential like that's what I'm lifetime I'm paralyzation. That's but hey, I but if say anyone that. you know, what I'm saying the world can have pushed forward. Um, you know what I'm saying? What do you call them? Robotic legs and arms for people? Maybe Tiger Woods. I, I guess, but if I'm an athlete, I would probably. I know that's done with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not golfing again. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, and that's, le- and that's very and you know what's funny? Do legs play a big part of golf? Though, if you got robotic legs, yes. Is yes, it more like John. arms and skill, like aiming and stuff? Mm-mm. Legs. It's legs, man. Your swing too. Yep. I mean, the swing matters, but the the arms you have are more or less just you holding the club itself. A lot of what you do. But you can't when play it comes golf to golfing, unless you hold the club, right? I, I get that, John. But a lot of things you're doing when it comes to you, like swinging, it's, it's a lot of it just thrusting hips and the way you're planting your feet. You trying to argue with me, though? <laughs> <laughs> hey, John, come on. I played PGA Tour 1999. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you want some, too? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Nah, like, um, like, that is unfortunate, man. I just turn all these cameras off. <laughs> Tiger Woods has had such an unfortunate like decade. <laughs> yeah, very. I cheated, that. and then everyone acted like he murdered ninety nine people, which is very <laughs> wild. <laughs> which and was the wild, <laughs> well, very, one of the wildest things in the world. I was like, nigga, he cheating. Lost deals. He, he and, and it's like, bro, cheating. Regular Samaritans cheat. Always pretend like they know what it's like to be a celebrity. I guarantee you, if the most attractive people on earth were knocking down your door just. You would eventually fold. That's I don't care good, who you are. That's a good point. I don't care. Why hasn't nobody made that point? That should be brought up more often. Bill Burr did in one of his specials. You know okay, little baby do it all the time. Every time he cheat, he get discount. Like, just, like no, <laughs> not but not only, not only not only the baby. It's like man, that's like I would argue majority of men have cheated before. That's not like a thing. Oh, yeah. that's like they be having like sixty girls at video shoots. And, and that's and that's but that's what and those are. 
<laughs> Those are celebrities. You're talking about just regular men just cheat daily. Why is that a big y'all act like yeah? Yeah, bro. Like he did something be like, wild. Imagine if imagine if like thousands of women have just like just made it clear that they're and you've been like, nah. Thousands. And then you eventually slip up. And then a person who literally has only had two shots in the last five years is gonna hop on Twitter and tell you they understand wow Tiger was cheated. Or if you had one percent of the temptation that he had, you would have folded too. And then people acted like he committed mass murder. And it's like, damn. So now sponsors is pulling out over him cheating every sponsor. And then he finally comes back and he wins a major and everyone's real excited. Then he gets a car accident, man. That's why everybody needs Tesla's. The safety rating on these Tesla's is unprecedented. I'm not joking. I don't, I I don't, know, what ha- I don't know what happened, but it sounded like they were. Uh, no, I'm being said, serious. They said it was I'm being serious. Like Guys, they, were, they were speeding and the also he was um, potentially sleeping because they were there was no actual substance in any of their bodies. Autopilot is going to. Save us from traffic and accidents. I don't know if you guys understand this, but in that. seven years, when every car has autopilot, there's going to be considerably more. I mean, sorry, less Let's accidents. Wi-Fi go off and then start being bumper cars. But John, that's in the future, John. But John, it's not autopilot. Doesn't work it's on not Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi, John. <laughs> <laughs> it's not connected. What is it connected to? What, what, what network is it connected to on the highway? <laughs> you on two eighty five? What, what network is that? <laughs> What Wi-Fi? What's a Wi-Fi password? Yeah. <laughs> what is that? You gotta be connected to something. What is it? Is it, is it, is it, is it, is it, is it <laughs> Feli Forever? I love Atlanta. Like, what is that, nigga? Right now, my, my F4 is on dial-up right now. <laughs> like, what is that, nigga? Yeah, oh, yeah, is yeah. It connected to like a GPS server, nigga. It, it's there's cameras on the John. car, so when you drive, it knows where things are are relative to John. where it's at. There's no, there's John, no. Come on, man. Wi-Fi. I know you know. Oh, I know you know. Pilot works without Wi Fi, man. <laughs> wi Fi is only if you want to watch YouTube videos while your car is doing autopilot. Oh. But not, but no, it's not even, it's just data. You just, you're using data. What if they, what if they turn on us? We'll we, we, we be dead at that point. They literally turn the wheel That's on That's literally us. what they're going to do. They're going to turn on us away from accidents. That's what they're going to do. They're going to save us. You know what Tesla you know is backwards for? Hey, come listen to you. He's about to say some dumb Yeah, shit. go ahead, man. We're ready for your joke. It's not a joke. I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. Oh, okay. He's asking it's the question. It's gonna be on YouTube or something. Hey, um, what, Alset? Did y'all know that Tesla? Tesla is backwards. Did y'all know that Tesla doesn't even have the craziest autopilot system? They just do such a phenomenal job at convincing us they do. I was watching some videos. Apparently, Cadillac has a great one too, like an incredible one. It's a better one though. Yep. The new one. Yep. And honestly, I didn't realize this, but like car geeks, they just they just walk around this earth knowing stuff like that, but they don't ever post about it. Like, how come no one has told me that there's competing autopilot systems that are as good? Why has no one told me that? But we just assume Tesla's because Tesla looks futuristic, has no grill, and... Thought I was going to tell you? I ain't know. Like, they just, you know what I'm saying? You could just tell your Tesla to come to you, and it won't do it 80% of the time, but the 20% it does, it'll look cool. So we'll just convince each other that it has uh, the best no, AI. probably not. Probably like 20% it don't work. Yeah, the other 80% it works, but... Fifty percent to eighty percent, it looks weird. Because I've <laughs> like seen it's like, uh, do I do I get yeah, out? Yeah. I saw Marquez Brownlee do it. This niggas in the middle of an empty parking lot. It's See, never. Bro, had I've been seeing David do it all year. It's gonna go like for real. Yes, I've been seeing David. David don't even go to his car no more. He's like, uh, yeah, you guys go. I'll call my car. <laughs> and he'll always try and call it, but he'll make sure he parks near my car just so if there is an accident, it'll scrape my every time. <laughs> Not work, but it's like an interesting feature, though. It, it, I think something can go wrong. You sum your car and like a, a glitch in the system messed up, your car just drives to Burger King and like just leaves you or something. John, that could never happen. You need to have your steering wheels, your hands on the steering wheel for it to work. No, he's telling you calling it and then it, instead of coming to you, it goes to Burger King. Well, that'd be wild. Yeah, like you sum your car. And I mean, if it brings me back food, you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It brings back a whopper. I'm happy I'll, with it. I'll say this, though. A a lot of be automated when it gets to that point, like like Uber drivers are not going to exist anymore because there'll be no point of having Uber. Uber Uber is aggressively trying to make sure that it has no workers. Like yeah. it's aggressively now, right now, trying to make sure they have as many drivers as possible. And the second they figure out how to get rid of them, like they're packing up these millions probably of drivers. Yeah, like yeah, all your income is about to be out of here because we figured out there's a machine that could do what you do. Yep. you're useless to us. Yep. That's crazy. Um, 
But going back to the original subject, yeah, man. Shout out to um Tiger Woods, man. Hope all is well. Prayers are up. Cause yeah, unfortunately, one of the greatest athletes of our time, like it will uh, never yeah. perform. I always remember the first time I seen him play, man. Cause my mom does not know a single thing about sports. She had she had the channel open. I was like five years old at the time. Mm-hmm. And she's like, Dean, Dean, come here. I was like, What was going on, mom? She was showing me golf. And I was like, Mom, do you hate me? Why would you do this to me? Why are you showing me golf? But it was because it was a black man golfing. So she was like, Oh, look, this is Tiger Woods. And I was like, Oh, words. And I saw him swing once. And I was like, oh, I saw that. All right, Mom, I'm going to play with Hot Wheels again. And I left. But I remember, like, just the excitement that there was even a, a black person, even though he's half yeah. black, just golfing. And Crazy. the success that he was able to have, man, just the dominance he was able to, you know what I'm saying, really just dick down his opponents. At a historic rate. Yeah, he was dicking down his opponents at a very All time historic highs. rate. All time dicking down. So, yeah. Um, yeah I, that's- played, I played that golf game that I played growing up. We played it a ton. I don't want to just minimize how much we played that game. We played it a lot. I always just pretended like I was Tiger Woods the whole time. That's where I got, man. Well, I don't know if I, I don't think I played golf games, but yeah, it's just, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We'd be, at, we'd be at a mini putt. We'd go, Tiger. <laughs> and we hit him, man. No cap. No, I mean, we say that. But yeah, man, we're the, literally one of the greatest athletes in the past um, 10, 15 years. Not 15, uh, 20 years. And, you know, revolutionized the game of, of golf. Hey. Brought a lot of attention to it Yeah man I hope he gets better man Praying so, for you Tiger Okay Yeah that's tough And also yeah that, I gotta watch that Bill Burr joke Because It's hilarious Yeah there's no Now the more I'm thinking about it The more I'm like There's no way y'all niggas Just try to cancel this nigga forever Because he cheated on his wife Like there's no way y'all Just did that The nigga was about to go To the golf course Where 10 other people Also are cheating on their wives Actively <laughs> right now Like there's no Golf golf courses And what, what are those club calls The country clubs they, those men probably cheat their wives religiously, <laughs> like they probably just toss around the random women they cheat on their other the the women they cheat on their women with, right? Huh? huh? The women they cheat on their wives with, they probably just toss them around because it's like ah oh, she know how, she know how to keep it down. Yeah, good old Jessica, she she won't tell a secret. Go ahead and go, Bob. Go and knock her out real quick. That's probably where Tiger got these women from. So yeah, man. Uh, all I know is this: Who's so this? you're insinuating they're Caucasian by those That's- names. Up, she man. was she was Caucasian. I thought that was, I'm that was about all his friends. Like, I, yeah, because I, golf I was a country pri- club when I was little. Golf is primarily, especially when what? Tiger was starting. Co- yeah, my golf stepdad was, played golf. You went to a country club when you were little. Yeah, I'm gonna play golf too. Interesting. Oh yeah, when we get off. Okay, yeah. Okay, I got. I gotta have a conversation about you. Did you go? What I do? What I do? What I do? Not what? not specifically you. Oh, okay. Did you go with them, John? With the AMP shoot? Uh this weekend? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I gotta talk to both of y'all. Yeah, bro, I was I was I was really going in on that AMP shoot, no okay. cap. I got I gotta have a conversation with both of y'all. I had some news, you know what I'm saying? I heard I hope it's good news. Nah, I just heard somebody's acting a little weird. Okay. Oh, Oh, actually, I didn't. I don't know what's been going on with that. I haven't looked in the chat personally. I was simping the whole time. You know, you know, you know. I know what you're talking about. Me yeah. too, uh, but <laughs> not the first time. Not the first time. For ah! real? For real? Mm-hmm. For real? For real? Sometimes y'all gotta scream to get your energy up. Man, what the hell? How niggas they tell me good morning? Oh, good morning. We don't tell you good evening, nigga. Huh? We don't tell you good evening when you're it's here. It's a new day. It's a good morning. You gotta just start. My Is day it though? Morning. Are we sure it's a good morning yet? Huh? I was up earlier today, so to me it ain't a new morning. It ain't no new day. I was up early this morning. Yeah, but it's the first time you've seen me, though. It'd be my first time seeing you when you come here at night. Yeah, but you don't say good night because we're not going to sleep, but good morning. I don't say good evening, though. I don't say that. Huh? I don't say good evening to you. Yeah, that's what I thought, nigga. Just tell the guy good morning, man. Damn. You told me. Good you told morning, me. John. Good morning. Good morning to you, D. Yeah, good morning. Hey, go ahead. Blessed day today, man. Hey, hope man, I hope you have a real productive day, man. Yeah. You hope your glasses fog up unexpectedly. Hope you drop your phone. I uh, hope your barber cancels on you. We schedule and he leaves the country. And what else? It's a wild thing for a barber to do. Impromptu. I'll be, I'll be pissed too. That nigga just hope, your, hope your cart, cart declines only when you buy lotion. So you forever ash. <laughs> nah, that's been going on for a while. Yeah. <laughs> going what about on for your cart decline only for what item? Oh, whoa, whoa. It's past Valentine's Day. Okay. So now we can tell the people what y'all did. So what what you do, Just It's not a secret no more. John, what'd you do, man? 
Come on, John, let us know what you it's do. It's still a secret for him because he got six biddies on the side, man. <laughs> no, John, what's up? What you do? <laughs> John, what you do, man? John Marcel wants to know what you did. John! <laughs> dropped his oh, phone. I, I, you I, I thought, said it. My mo- I thought my mic was off. I was talking. My mic must have been lowered. Oh, okay. So what you do, John? Let me check the settings. It looks like it's frozen. That's a technical difficulty. We can figure that out later, though. So we can just start with well, you. Why are you talking right now? Because if, if, if you hear me? If he's, yeah, they can hear you. So, John, what you do? Let me ask me. Y'all hear me? John, what did you do, bro? Which was live so the chat could tell us if they could hear me. Now, I don't want to talk hey, to you. Use my mic. Use my mic. Come on. No, 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 no. Hey, John, let them know what you did for Valentine's Day, dog. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Mics are so convenient nowadays, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> you can just pull them anywhere you want to, huh? Hey, mute one of them. Or it's gonna double up. Uh, Actually, you don't want to fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, just leave it. Uh, um, I uh, what day was that? That was like the fourth, thirteen, fourth, fourteen. That's a while ago. What is, we in March right now? January, February, March, April. Uh, we in <laughs> what month is it? March. It's, no, it's still February. February. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Uh, Valentine's Day. That that day, what I do? Valentine's Day. I I woke up that day. I know for sure I woke up. Um, okay. Does it start? Um, what did I do? John, I know. Come on, look deep in your memory, Ben. I'm, I'm trying to think because I don't want to leave nothing out. You know what I'm saying? I ain't the type of nigga to hold a pie back. Of course, you feel not. me? You would never. Uh, anywho, um, what I do? I uh oh yeah 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 so I remember slightly it was a little fat you know what I'm saying I, I think I drunk a little too much so it's like my memories are really just like skip scopping through hey, my John, mind yeah which girl man and what'd you do with her what did which girl what I do with her why you make me sound like a hoe <laughs> oh, man um, man like, I just I don't I don't I don't, I don't be out in the what did you like do this. with your girl man uh well I can't do this with my girl because I don't have a girl um. So okay, so you're not a hoe, but you don't got a girl. No. So, who'd you text, man? Oh uh, yeah, I, I was texting a lot though. I was uh, a heavy okay. day of texting. So you was texting. Um, you tell him like Valentine's you him, Day. You go on a date, man? Nope. You you link with anybody? Link. Okay. <laughs> oh, link as in uh, like linked up, <laughs> like like chain. Yeah, like, you nah. want to go? You done? You want me to be done? All right, John. Uh, yeah, I was just getting started. Well, okay. Since you of really course, of course you were. Of course you were, John. It is, man. You got charged so, that one to the game. So, Agent, <laughs> Agent, what, what did you do? What did you do for Valentine's Day, man? Is my mic working, John? Is my mic on? Uh, let's see. I here. don't think it's on. Say, say hello. Uh, hello. Say hello again. Hello. Oh, yeah, you're good. You're, you're decibels. Are you good? <laughs> <laughs> hey, your, your decibels are impeccable. Hey, you're good, dog. You're good. Yeah, you're great. So, yeah. Agent, what did you do for Valentine's Day? Yep. Mm, you know what I'm saying? I was, I was a big chilling man. I was like, man, I'm just saying, you know, it's just like that, man. You link with anybody? Hell, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, agent, dog. Who you? He hey, said, hey, he asked I'm, you a I'm question. I'm gonna let you start us off, man. No, he asked hey, you a bro, question. I promise, yeah. Lowe, he asked you a Marcel, question. Marcel, Marcel, look at me. Anyone? Look at me, in my eyes. Did you link with me, my eyes, Marcel? Did you link with me, my eyes? I need you to look at me, in my eyes, man. You go ahead first, and then we'll go next. Boy, that boy's agent zero. <laughs> agent, he said, did you link with anyone? You go on a date or anything? You go out? You tell anybody happy Valentine's Day? I don't remember, I don't remember saying happy Valentine's Day. Hey, what are you supposed to do when a girl you talked to like a while ago, but you don't uh, talk to no that's more? A good, that's a good starter Text you happy Valentine's Day. That's a, that's the next topic. Let's put it this time. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one, though, boy. That's a good one, though. <laughs> you sneaky, hey, dog. Uh, you sneaky, dog. Hey, I get it, guys. Y'all, I get I get. We're not in love on. like you, love. We don't understand. It's like I was just protecting myself. You don't have to be in love to have a Valentine's, though. What is Valentine's Day about? Cupid shoots you. If I, if I shoot you in the ass with my Cupid, my Cupid shot, you fall in love. Not liking or... I associate you. There's plenty of people who are in relationships who don't necessarily aren't. If they haven't fallen in love with each other yet, they still celebrate the uh, holiday. But that's the. I mean, your relationship, duh. But that's the goal to fall. That's the end goal. You want to end up falling in love with that person. Yeah, but that doesn't. That doesn't mean you gotta. You have to be in love or fall in love on Valentine's Day, so you can You're still celebrate. That's not what I said. I said so that you, you don't have love. to be. Are you in love? I've been said it already. So okay, let's love. talk about that something. About that. You're in love, man. So what did you? What's what, that what feel does like? Love I like. I like this pivot. I like the pivot. The pivot. Look, guys, I get it. Y'all are holding it back. I, I won't, I won't press you guys on it because I know there's some, you know, some anonymity you want to keep on the back. No, end. there's no anonymities. There's no anonymities no at all, man. No there's no anonymities. No, 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 no
Mm. I mean, if that's the case, y'all can y'all can answer just the tell original us what, question. Just tell us what you did, bro. You Stop did. complicating. What you did? Pulling so, the pod back, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, so what is not excited. I know you playing some. Yeah, Super. real extravagant, man. I, I, know, I saw you. Way. I saw you walking out the crib real early, man. Real early, early. So I know you had a full day plan. All early to have a late night, right? Yeah, it's early, John, man. So uh, we it started. We did. We started the day before. Um, oh my god! Okay. Oh, look at you. You started on the thirteenth. <laughs> so we started the day before. We went out to. Um, what is it called? I, I, we went to axe throwing. Just do some little light fun. You threw axes? You threw axes, yeah. Oh, man, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Me, me too. It's actually funny. I was going to say, like, yeah, we should go. Just throw some axes. So I went to axe throwing. Um, that was that was cool, lighthearted, fun. Um, then the next day, we got up early, drove around, viewed some houses, went downtown, kind of grab a bite to eat. You know what I'm saying? Of course. Then we um, impromptu. It was like, ah, let's, let's just get a room. We don't want them to hear us, you know, go crazy downstairs. Bro, you love you love making us hear you, man. That's, no, stop. Hey, yeah, man, when I'm upstairs. Saying, saying I love to allow y'all to hear me man, just the other day thrusting, I was, that's why. I was in the wild. kitchen the other day, and I was hearing, uh, 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 uh. I was hearing it, bro, while you was gone, man. And I was like, oh, man. Los if really- you really hear it, if you really heard it, then what was the safe word? Def- it was definitely pineapple. Nah, nigga. No. Safe word. What's I I'm not gonna lie it to you. It hasn't been pineapples in months, so it's cut the cap. Yeah, but I haven't heard no safe word though. I don't think he was going that crazy. I don't think he was really going that the rough. Safe word you know was used on Valentine's Day. No, yeah. we said so. We weren't. We weren't, <laughs> we, weren't, we, weren't we weren't here though. So that's what we got. We got to go to the. Uh, so, so what's the safe word? What is the safe word? Just it, so we it know. It depends. It's, it's multiple safe words. So you change okay. What's the safe word when you're choking or yeah, too hard? Yeah, you change it. It, it, it wouldn't be Isn't all that. It, interesting. I need air. <laughs> it wouldn't. It, would, it wouldn't. It wouldn't be all that interesting. It's a safe ah. word. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's a word, not a phrase. Free. Y'all niggas just said phrases, bro. Come on, dog. Uh, oh, okay, oh, man. Pain. <laughs> nah, and it actually got to be a word to where you're like you're not going to like just say it casually. Oh, like so, like investment if, portfolio. <laughs> you know, I could just bring that up. You're still saying phrases, but okay, I, I see what you're doing. Investment what? portfolio is definitely mayonnaise. just a thing. Yeah, it's two words though. Mayonnaise, but it's one thing. It's not. It's not a, a thing. It's, Krabby it's Patty. A word. It's a safe word, not a safe thing. Okay, well, how about you just have a safe sentence? That way, you know for sure oh, when Nintendo it's sixty four. That is that'd be wild. <laughs> niggas been choked. These niggas like oh, my four hundred one k is like nigga trying to say a whole thing. Retro <laughs> seventeen, huh? Retro seventeen. What is that? A football player? Pillowcase. Know. Okay, pillowcase. Yeah. Okay. But you no. might say, you yeah, might say you pillowcase. Might say pillowcase. Like, like, yeah, get oh, that man. pillowcase off me. Come on. There's a whole bunch of blood now in the pillowcase. Like you might say it. Yeah, you might. Huh? You said blood? Huh? Anyway, anyway, anyway. So we got the uh we got the what you call it, got a room. Actually, you know what's so crazy? It was very easy to get um a spot in um what's the Italian place called? Like the chain Italian spot. Damn, what is it? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all looking at me right now as if like I don't know what's going on. I hate when y'all do this. Oh, y'all make gonna make me look this up, bro. But it was it was actually very easy to get a uh, a table. Um, I thought it was gonna be like mad pack and we were gonna be able to get one at the last minute, but no. We need to get one, and the only reason why I was gonna go get the um. Let's get back to the blood on the pillowcase right, real pillow quick. Case. Yeah, that's <laughs> let's, let's get back to the blood on the pillowcase real quick. Yeah. But first, off, upside down, or the pillowcase made it to the bottom of the bed. Like, what's going on here? Yeah, you might you must have flipped her in one direction. No, 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 no. Hold on, I gotta figure out this Italian spot, man. Hold on, hold on, dog. Hold Were on. you biting? You were biting. Ah, Olive Garden. So I didn't realize that it was that easy to get like a spot yeah, at Olive Garden. Is a straight little smooth spot, smooth spot. Yeah, yeah it is. Spot. But the crazy thing is, I was supposed to. Um, I was originally going to have a witch call it come here. Um, uh, a uh, private chef. Like, oh, private chef. glad you didn't do that, bro. No cap. How you be certified? Why? Wait, 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 why? Why not? Because it would have interrupted my shit. <laughs> whoa, what, what you had going on? <laughs> Hey, oh, <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. This nigga, this nigga sitting there. So he had plans. Yeah, he had plans. Yo, plans. nigga, you had plans and you not gonna say what it, your plans were. Uh-oh. You ain't gotta say who well, you I'm, did it with. I'm Just listen- say what you did. I'm listening intently right now, man. Go ahead. Finish- I'm almost done. Well, we gonna finish yours and double back to him. Yeah, we. I'm almost <laughs> done. So you had you <laughs> ready. Now we know. So I, I had a I had, at first I had a private chef, but I don't know why the nigga didn't know. 
I told him like two, three weeks ago, I was like, yo, um, can you come over and cook for me and my my girl on uh on this Sunday on the fourteenth? He was like, Oh yeah, of course I'll be doing that. And then he hit me up like a day or two early. He was like, Oh, I didn't know that this Sunday's gonna be Valentine's Day, so I, I can't do it, man. And I was like, Dog, like that's Dog. <laughs> that's kinda like the whole point of why I had you come out here. Like, come on. Um <laughs> So then um, we had to figure out a <clears throat> figure out a place to go last minute. And Ollie, no, he was actually very easy to get to Olive Garden. Went to Olive Garden, got something to eat, went back to the hotel. A hotel? Went, went crazy. Damn, what was the safe word? Went crazy. Do you guys actually have a safe word? Went crazy. Went crazy. What's the safe word mean? When you get a little too crazy, yeah. When you get to, if it's going a little too crazy, you say the safe word and then you stop it. I guess I, you might. If I had a girl, man, she would never need a safe word. You know what I'm saying? Because that means you don't go crazy. You know? That means you don't go crazy enough. Ever, you, don't, dog, you, you don't. You don't push the boundaries. Nah, man. I finish. Oh, so it's like it's like, like the fact of having sexual danger. Yeah, 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 like you just keep pushing it, and like anytime you cross the, let line, me know when I'm punching you too hard, babe. <laughs> Yeah, if you punch, if you like if you if you into punching, swinging off, <laughs> slamming, and she punching you, you just you keep punching just her. WWE with, with moves, her. yeah, you T- keep punching. T- TKO here, get in the Batista bomb. Suplex, boom. You can just be choking right before she yeah. chokes out because she just likes to be living on her danger. Oh yeah, from doggy style to RKO. Yeah, women like that is like real, real. Um, you're gonna catch a case, man. The women that like not choke because like women like to get choked, but. The women that like like to get aggressively choked, like that's, that's it. Like yeah. I, you, I need to struggle breathing around you, and I need you to like don't even just slap yeah. my ass regularly. Like, well, you, need to, like you need to no strike me. Okay, no, no cap, no cap. Okay, let me, crazy. Yeah, let me. Are you see these hands? I've, I've, I've had, I've had a, I've had a girl before, where she's like straight up, like she's like, oh yeah, I like to get choked, and so I'm thinking the same way that most women like to get choked, like I just so, get like choked, right? It's a light choke. Yeah, like a little light, like. But then she was like, "Tell me, do it harder." Like she would tell me, "Do it hard," and I was like, uh, "I could, I guess, I, I guess, like I technically, I, I can, I guess, right?" So it went to like lightly to like I'm gonna push a little more pressure on it. She's like, "Yo, you chug me harder, you." <laughs> and I was like, "I can't have sex with you anymore. Like, I, <laughs> like this, is, this is no longer entertaining to me." Yeah, I had to go do the same thing to me. I was like, "You like to get slapped in the face," and I, that was the first girl I talked to. That was like, "She liked to get slapped in the face, like genuinely." So yeah. I was like, "All right, let me know when it's too hard." I did like the lightest slap. What she, she say? Like, she just looked at me like, "What's that?" So then I was like, "Harder?" And she's like, "Yeah." So then I went a little harder, and she was like, "Nah, like way harder than that." And then I went wait what I thought was way harder, and she was like, "No, like harder." And I was like, no, because I'm about to just, <laughs> I feel like I'm about to. <laughs> <laughs> the, how hard? Uh, What's that's, next is about to be abuse. Yeah, so. that's, that's, that's the moment I'm where you're not, like, I'm not even like, going to like, do that you have, <laughs> You just got to have uh, sexual danger papers, consent papers. Yeah, I was like, that's. But it's not, it's not only that. To me, it's like. So, like this, I what, to, I, what I would do next would be to someone I don't like. You know what I'm saying? I have, <laughs> I have to do this routinely to you. Like, you I have to write like, it down. You just have record. You'd be like, okay, just sign here. So you like to be smacked at a higher. It's not grade. that. It's not. You it's get just, a video audience. But it's not even it's, like on her ass or something. It's on her face, bro. So it's like, that's the most disrespectful way to violate somebody exactly. in the real world. So if, if you slide someone real hard on their ass and there's like a red mark, then that's whatever. Because it's their ass, they'll bounce back. Literally, <laughs> no. But on the face, it's like so much more personal, man. So it just felt really, really weird. And that, that was the last time I saw that girl right there, man. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. I can't. You want choking the heart? That is wild. Yeah, it's just because you nah, like to be dominated. Was, you like to be I like. Was, yeah. yeah, I was. Yeah, I was literally yeah. like, man, I can't do this. I got. I told her like, I can't do this. Like, me. <clears throat> And that's what she did. And she thought I was a th- a vibe with me. And I was like, man, if you feel that comfortable doing this off rip, I don't know where I don't know where you stop at that point. <laughs> because like if off rip, you're willing to just like call me to choke that's you harder. Yeah. I was like, man, let me just stop right now. Let me yeah, let you know. Hard. But she didn't do that on your date though. <clears throat> no. Yeah, of course not. All right. That's so- a, that's the only that's the only girl I've ever been with where like the level of like Freaticity? Freak is just like that's another le- level that I'm not willing to go. Her freak tickets, her freak tickety style was high. Yeah, that's another that's another day when I realized like yeah I'm not a freak. I'm just not a freak because I can't. 
I'm not choking you hard, bro. I'm just not. I don't think that's really being freaky. That's more kinky. I mean, it's the same thing. No, hey, that's I, a synonym for the same thing I you just like said, freaky bro. Freaky and kinky are two different things. Like freaky is how nasty you are, but I don't think that has nothing to do with nasty. Choking doesn't have no, no, nothing. You can choke anybody. It's not nasty. True. That's, yeah, but the amount of choking you that you do is that's still not freaky. Oh yeah, you I got g- sex last night. Nah, I'm just choking her. Freaky boy, that's not freaky. Casually choking her, it's crazy. Yeah, that's not, that's <laughs> yeah, not very casual. <laughs> that's not freaky. You said, "Oh, you get some hair." I'm like, "Nah, we just choking each other." <laughs> oh, and, not, and then, but leading leading up to leading up to um me choking her, I would like put my I would like caress my hands on her neck, and she she was like, "Oh, oh. it's like she she used to like get off by that." Yeah, that's not that's normal though. No? She came no by- like all not like. Not like you know, like girls that when you like uh, like start to choke them, they'll kind of like they'll like sh- shut the f- up and they'll like put their head back and they'll like kind of tremble a little bit. Mm-hmm. She wasn't like no, she was she moaning. Was moaning. <laughs> she might have something inside her. I don't know. <laughs> there might be too many sensors right right yeah. here for her. She had she, too many she, souls in her chest. <laughs> she was like she was actively moaning <laughs> when my hand was on her like that. Like no, so no. We put your head on her chest and you heard the niggas like get the. F- <laughs> Stop, <laughs> <What's that? laughs> nigga. Yeah, I, that was that's too much. That was that was when I was like, no. But going back to Valentine's Day, so you you alluded to you doing something on Valentine's yeah, so Day. I didn't really do nothing. Um, you did something enough for for me not to. So you didn't go crazy that night, or did you go crazy that night? I didn't really do nothing that crazy, man. Yeah. So what did you do? Just, Apparently, there's something in the I'm kitchen. Having, so what did you do? I'm having the kitchen. I'm sorry. We, I just had someone over. Uh huh. Okay. Um, just for a little bit, it was, like it was good vibe to the fifteenth. Mm-hmm. They stayed like they just come for the fourteenth, or they stayed to the fifteenth. Nah, she stayed. Interesting. So what y'all do? What y'all do in the saying. kitchen, dog? We what just, y'all do? We just chilling. We went to just you know what I'm saying cook up some. So we was in the kitchen. We were just trying different. Was it things. a happy ending some, night? Some recipes. Happy, that, happy ending. You know what I'm saying? While we was cooking, uh, Waleed was just bored. I could tell because he was <laughs> Waleed was just popping down, and interrupting. And but it was appreciated, you know what I'm saying? You know, Lee was just like looking for any reason not to edit that day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, We're not talking about Lee. Well, yeah, oh yeah, cook, sorry. <laughs> what, what did you cook? You know what I'm saying? We was yeah. just making whatever, man. We was yeah, just in there. Right. We was just in there, you know what I'm saying? Just trying to make like whatever the first thing that came to our mind was, man. So what, was, went, what was the first thing that came to your mind? I don't even remember, to be honest with you, because it's out of my mind now. But, you know what I'm saying? We went to After the grocery store. a great meal, how'd you wrap it up? What was dessert? You know what I'm saying? We went to the grocery store. We got some groceries. It was no dessert? I mean, who do, who do, I don't I don't I don't separate meals like that, man. I mean, I make nothing sweet though. Nothing sweet? No, no. I mean, I, I mean, make nothing sweet. I mean, the reality is most things are sweet. You know, what I'm saying we did add sugar to the thing we made, so it was like it was sweet. It was awfully sweet. Mm. You know yeah, but you remember what that was? What it was? Uh, How sweet was it? So I remember <laughs> Marcy walked up at one point and I was like oh man he about to bring the chef damn cause I'm about to bump heads with this bro cause I'm in the middle of my thing you know what I'm saying we're not gonna be done can you imagine like a- this nigga in the kitchen <laughs> while <laughs> private chef is there they say like, no watch out dog I, I gotta get to the oven nigga like <laughs> 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 who the fuck out of the yeah, way yeah so uh, but then Marcel was like oh no man he cancelled man and I was like, oh, that's so unfortunate. I saw Tierra coming up. She looked so sad. I know she was looking forward to that five course meal. He was about to bring it all of that. And I was like, man, I hope you have fun at Olive Garden. I didn't say that because I, I say because nobody knew at that time. <laughs> but, anyway. I, but I gave. But she, she saw. She saw. She got our first present. So I was like, bam. There what was the go. present? It was a bear. It was a rose bear. Remember? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it was a rose bear. It's a bear, and it like make make him out. Oh, the thing is, I don't really do Valentine's Day. You know what I'm saying? I feel me. I mean, you we did it, but you did it. But apparently, you did it, though, nigga. You did Valentine's I Day. Just, I just happen to have someone over on Valentine's Day, but I ain't do Valentine's Day. Though. Oh, just by chance, it just popped in. I swear to God. Are they crane? What yeah. they do? When they just, drop cranes off, they just, just drop dates off. I can't stand this. It just happened, this. man. I can't stand this, nigga. It just happened. It was an Uber era. No, 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 no. I want her. I want her here. I just don't really do. I don't really do that celebration. So I was just enjoying her presence. We were just doing the things we would have regularly done on. Day just oh, happened to be so Valentine's Day. You one of those niggas. You one of those niggas. You one of those niggas. I don't right? know what. Geez. You one of those What's niggas. What's that mean, man? Oh, we, we do this all the time, man. We do. We we should we cook and chef it up in the kitchen. It, that wasn't. A oh, special. it must have been the morning time, and it's and then it's like after that, you were just doing videos all and day. And y'all exactly. So y'all niggas believe that Agent wakes up in the early morning afternoon to fucking start cooking and chefing it up. 
No, it was like 5 p.m., man. It was it like was 5 not p.m. no 5 p.m. Oh, you're right. It was like 4 p.m. I didn't even think it was, was 4 it? p.m., when, nigga. When was it, bro? Because... I don't know. No, because we left and then the viewed houses, then went downtown and then went to Olive Garden. It was not no fucking five or four. So this was like like eight or nine. No, it went down. No, 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 like six. No, 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 no. Look, 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 look. Oh, you talking eight, nine in the morning? No, at night. No, it was always early. Now he's trying to say it's earlier than that. He was way early. No, but look, look, look. We just I'm I'm being dead ass. I'm not I'm not trying. I don't know who that guy is. I swear to God, it was just a regular day. Mm. I ain't say you're not happy Valentine's Day to her not one time. Actually, no, I did, but only because she said it to me. But this she, nigga, wait, 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 this nigga wait, caps. Wait, I wait, swear, wait, 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 this nigga caps. Get, wait. You, get your story straight, nigga. Because no, 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 no. oh, you know she watching. Get the story straight, oh. nigga. No, she probably won't be watching. Look, um, no, she at one point in the night she was just like, nah, I know, like we don't even do Valentine's Day, but happy Valentine's Day though. And I was like, oh, happy Valentine's Day. But we not doing it though. <laughs> oh, look, 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 look. That's a, that's a trick right oh. there. You wait, you you said, hold on. You said, you, hold on. She right. waited till that night hold to say on. that. My bad. Okay, okay, you okay. Said, you said, um, okay. you said something about like at night, y'all. You said laying. You said something like late at night. So, you, wait. wait, man, I'm not done. So after we got done, you know what I'm saying cooking. You out. said late at night though. She said Happy Valentine's Day. Hey guys, I don't do Valentine's Day, man. So, but you don't do it. But she said Happy Valentine's Day late at night. I guess, night. I guess she said. That was on like the couch. That was just a regular day. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> it's not a regular day, but okay. Keep ah, on a regular she looked day. She in your eyes when she said it, or y'all was kind of just looking away, like she was just like y'all just like no, not looking at each other. My like, eyes. What the f- is not looking in my eye. Why would, why would you be talking to me not looking in my eyes? I mean, like if you didn't feel a certain way, you know. What I'm just saying? just, just like, so you know, you did something on Valentine's Day. Yeah, I did, but <laughs> I didn't do it for Valentine's Day. Though. That's the punish I make. Just so you know, you did something for Valentine's Day. No, not for. No, I'm on. I'm telling you, that's what that was. I see what he's coming from. It wasn't though. Because I know. I'm. I'm. I'm trying to, as a friend, I'm trying to let you know. I didn't though. You did something but for anyway, Valentine's. It's really Day. relevant. I just don't. You know what I'm saying? I just want to be able to say that I've never celebrated Valentine's. Day. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna tell you right now today. This year's the first year doing it, nigga. <laughs> Let me tell you right now. Hey, hey, whatever. Besides the point. Um, you know what I'm saying. And then I didn't realize how far it was, but we wanted to go to drive, drive, drive a movie. And you know what I'm saying, a young Wait, agent. Hold on. <laughs> sounds like a lot of doing. Uh, no, a lot of doing for a nigga who ain't doing nothing, right? <laughs> for a drive. Don't you have like a 98 inch? <laughs> What you driving? Oh no, but this is like an experience, so John, you ain't get it, dog. But what so no, 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 you doing something it. for Valentine's Day? Bro, I just fucking <laughs> This nigga is retarded, bro. I swear to God. Oh, it still yeah. works. Thank God. This is this is the dumbest, dumbest yeah. nigga yeah. in the yeah. world. Yeah. Slip it up. This nigga's retarded. Yeah, okay. Man getting no, upset. No, 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 man getting pressure. Bro, I'm feeling like Roger Federer right now, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm down right now in the fifth set. I'm trying to come back. You feel me? Hey, look, no, we Benjamin okay. So, Soriati. young agent got his Audi back wrapped up and everything. You know what I'm saying? So, I, oh, no. so you just want to break the car in? No, no, no. My Audi seats fold. It has a panoramic roof, so I had a game plan. You know what I'm saying? We pulled up to the spot. We got we we pulled up like 30 minutes early, so we just watched the end of a movie. And the second car was moving out the way, and you know, scurried in there, got the very front row. Now, the way these driving movies work is like it's ridges. It's almost like hills. Yeah. And any car you bring that's not an SUV is getting scratched up because it's way too steep. Yeah. So I put my car in off-road mode. I was just bumping along. And I got to the very front. So you put your car on like an angle. Yeah. And I thought we were going to have to like open up the, the trunk to be able to see. Yeah. It just so happened we didn't have to do that. So we just folded the seats back. We brought like a bunch of blankets and pillows, some snacks. Swear we just kicked back in the car with heating and everything. Just watching from like the rear view. It was it was the most mad ever. I swear to God, that shit was way. So you're using the, how, you're you're describing it as magical, but then telling me you didn't do nothing for Valentine's Day. I didn't do it for Valentine's. I did I did that magical thing on what Valentine's Day. Did you want to see that movie? It was yeah. I I, I would have. It wasn't my movie of choice, but it was the. Yeah, when I go to drive in movie, I pick something I really don't care about watching. But when I go to a drive in movie, no, it was if a good it's movie, for though. me, if it's just a regular day, I'm definitely trying to get something I'm trying to watch. What movie was it? It was the Judean Black Messiah movie. Huh? The the one with the dude from Get Out, man. The one that Polo G had last man standing. So he said, guarantee you I'm going to be the last man standing. You know that song? Get Out. Now, what, what was the oh, movie Slimmin', about? Oh, Slimmin', Slimmin'. 
No, 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 no bro. It was about it was about out, the Black man. Panther Party and how they had inside informants try and break him apart. It's actually when you get to the end of the movie, if you're black, you're gonna be very angry because there's a scene that just like infuriates you, mm. like very like I'm not trolling. Like I was like, man, I just want to punch somebody right now. Wow. So, so you, so you know what happened in the movie? That's good. Because so normally, watch the whole I don't movie. be doing what's going on in the movie. Know, we we was, I couldn't give you no summary. Yeah, I couldn't. I'll be doing something else. I'll be summarizing something yeah. else. I'll be, <laughs> I'll be driving in something else. Uh-huh. Anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so, John, what'd you do? You got something else in the face. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, so, John, what'd you do? Huh? What'd huh? you do? Nah, I just chill. All right, John, bro. You're not nah, going to. I, 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 I really, I didn't go. I didn't go out. I didn't. Uh, um, you going to I didn't, go, cap, I didn't go out. I didn't go. I didn't go out. I think I, I, I might have been here. Was I here? No, nigga, you were not. Well, I can't stand you asking me. I might, I might have been here. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I think I, I think I was. A lot right here on the podcast, set, man. No, not on the podcast. But I think I might have been downstairs, or upstairs. Oh, I go out. You're all over the place, right? You, you don't know <laughs> fucking house. No, what, what you? Valentine's Day was Sunday, right? Yes, it was a Sunday, and, and we then, had already recorded the podcast before then, so there would be no reason for yeah, you to no, have been here. There was no reason for me to be here. <laughs> so where were you at, nigga? Yeah, Sunday. He was still here. <laughs> this nigga is such a cat. No, 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 no. I no real, real shit. I didn't do nothing for Valentine's Day. I didn't go out. I didn't go out or do nothing small. I didn't go out. I didn't go out with a girl. Just a little technical difficulties. Yeah, double we're check live. Double check the levels, John. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're back live. Hey, um, nah, it was a dope night. Hey, I swear, yeah. if you have like an SUV and you can fold your seats, <laughs> I think driving movies is the waviest date. No cap. Yeah. Uh, y'all niggas is fools, bro. Yeah, I man. swear to God. So I, just, like, I really just, I wish I was able to do something on Valentine's Day special and just like how shit was played out. <laughs> Huh? Hey, you know what's? Man, right. I guess neither of us did nothing on Valentine's Day for Valentine's Day. No, we really, just did things low. on. Except blow. That's in a committed relationship. Yeah, yeah, we're just yeah. yeah. I'm saying, I commend that. One day. Who? Wait, say shit. it again. Say it last again. I commend that. No, the one before that. What? What'd you say before that? That lows in a um, committed, committed relationship. relationship. What'd you say after that? I said I commend that. No, you something in between. You said, man, <laughs> we in a committed. I'm in a committed relationship with something that y'all are in. What y'all in? Committed relationship. Yo, you in a committed relationship? No. You said, man, y'all, I said, you just said, man, lo, you're in a committed relationship and we are something, but don't worry about it. Don't worry. Oh, I said, I can, I, I, hopefully one day I can be as happy as you. Yeah, man. One girl, you know I just want to be in love the way Lowe's in love, love, man. man. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, 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 I just want to be in love, man. I just want to be in love, man. I just like, want to be in love, man. That's yeah, all, man. I just be feeling like, I don't know. I, I just, I don't know. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like. Y'all can be in love, man. Just put your ego aside. Uh, be Girls humble. Has them, why I do ego? Except, except these queens is who they are. Hey, Lowe. <laughs> I, was, I was watching something on YouTube, the playback. It looked just like y'all, though, by the way. And I saw this dude called Dr. Lowe. And he didn't have no content information on there, so I couldn't get in contact with him. I just feel like... I don't have a good chance with girls. I just want to know, like, how can I change that? Yo, bro. How do I know I'm in love, Lowe? Yeah. Like, Come how on, do man. I get a girl, Lowe? Like... Like I know I be I know I like, but how I know I'm in love, man. Come on, man. It's time. How do I do I feel it inside me? Does it, does it rupture from my toes to my head? Yo, is it like because in my dream that remember that dream I told you about, man? Yeah. That feeling doesn't feel human, bro. It doesn't. Like it just felt like it was exclusive to that dream, dog. Exclusive. And so I just want to know, like, how could I feel like that in real life, man? Very true. Reality. I don't know, man. Like that feeling that like I'm just like I'm just so connected to somebody. Like they're just, you know, what I'm saying we're just one person. That's like intertwined. Yeah, like there's nothing that separates us because we're in this shit together. You know what I'm saying? Like that that feeling that like that warm feeling you get like Spicy. the second you see him. Like that's all you care about because they're they're your world, man. Like how do I feel like that? Horrible to galaxies. <sighs> it's so hard to explain. Hard. <laughs> It's so hard to put a word to it, but man, like, it's like the totality of it. It's the finale of it, you know. It's fulfillment of it, you know. Fulfillment. No, I don't. It's the aura of it, you know. No, nah, you got to give us some advice, man, because apparently you know what you're doing. Because I, like I, I said, man, put your ego aside, put your hum- be humble, man. I don't know. How and just accept girl, these bro. queens is who they are, man. That's it, man. We'll be thinking I have hoes, <laughs> but I don't. 
Stop what telling is, me that shit, man. What does know. that even mean? Except these queens is who they are. What does that mean? These queens for what who they mean? are, man. Oh. We, we all we need women, man. All right, Steve Harvey. Women make us whole, man. <laughs> you like, look at the camera and say that you keep women. Women, at women need. We need women, man. Women, women, they make us whole, man. You gotta respect these queens, man. Respect them. Put your pride aside. Put your ego aside, man. Only time you gonna need that ego and pride. Is when you're providing for her. That's it. Only time you don't need that pride is when you providing for her. That's what makes a man. So I, taking so, care of a grown adult. That's that's what that's what makes a man. Yeah, I love treating. So, I, so my I, I, how do I adult. get it though, Lo? Like, what's the first steps? How big is your dick? Big enough for me not to tell you. You got big dick? Huh? You got big dick? Yes, big dick. All right, cool. And big t- balls. How tall are you? 6'3". How much I you have. weigh? 210. Uh-huh. You're 6'3"? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Then we were standing by, what's it called? Standing by yeah, Duke. you were. Big and Duke. I think Duke got grills and got shorter. I don't know how to make sense, but he looks shorter with his grills. <laughs> he, looks- <laughs> he looks shorter with his grills on, man. <laughs> My whole uh, life, I thought he was like six foot five, but with girls, he looks six three. Six three, <laughs> two ten. Right, maybe six four, and I'm still growing, nigga. Yeah. Put that into your consideration while you all calculate. Right, all <laughs> right, all right. It's getting bigger. Big dick. All right. Don't repeat that part. Just what would you? What would you rate yourself on the scale? Um. You go, you about to get him? Um. What would I rate John? Uh, I rate myself. A, as in one being the worst, a hundred being the greatest. I said ten. Oh, one to ten. One to ten. Um I rate myself probably You can't use seven. Damn. <laughs> That's how I get him right there. You got him. That's man. how I get him. You really got him. <laughs> they always like the default to seven. I will rate John a seven though. I'm, I'm thinking I'm like a seven, eight. So you eight. At my best. I, 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 now around these parks, we call I'm like a, I'd probably be like six right now. I'm uh, around around these parks, care. we call Chris Brown an eight. <laughs> All right. Chris Brown an eight. All right, Kevin. <laughs> we call we call Chris Brown an eight. <laughs> Denzel Washington a nine. Denzel Washington better than Chris Brown. What the fuck wrong with you? Yeah, around these parks, that's what we do. <laughs> so you consider yourself a Chris Brown level? No. So it's not like you're a six. I'm Denzel. And see, level. that's the problem. Uh, most people are just average. It's okay to be average now. <laughs> this nigga, that nigga's a sick nigga. Yo, John, Yo. You, you got a big dick. You're above average height. You're, you're in shape, it sounds like. I get back, when I get back in shape, it's going to be Oh, crazy. yeah, you said you're 210? Yeah. You're obese, so that's the... That's the <laughs> no, I'm not fat. I was, I'm moving. <laughs> <laughs> you might not get the Kevin Samuels reference, but that, that nigga is a fucking fiend. Oh. What's your shirt size? Your shirt size. <laughs> you said, so, did you? They, they be on camera like this, like. And niggas, they look so confused. They're like, whoa, well, what? My, sh- said, my why, dress why do you size. Deserve that? Yeah, why do you why do you deserve why do you deserve a woman, John? How much do you make a year? Thirty five thousand. <laughs> why do you deserve a millionaire? Yo, the ones where he if y'all if y'all go back to his early ones and the way he talked to men is hilarious, bro. The way he talks to men might actually be worse than the way he talks to women. He just comes across that way. But he legit asked me, like, how big is your dick? That ass? <laughs> yes. And then he's like, wait, wait, what? What? He said, you got do you have big dick? He's like, well, what do you mean? Do you have a big dick? And he's like, well, what is a, what's a big dick? Well, if you got a big dick, you would know you got a big dick. So you ain't got no big as dick. As a guy, if you either have a small dick, you're short, you're broke, one of those three things. You have to compensate for one of those three things you have very three, heavily. You yeah, I'm bad. And if you have all three, you have to. Even know, if you have a big you dick, be charismatic and you don't have those shit. other things, then you're probably not going to know. No, I mean, I mean, if we have you have a big. You got to use it too. That's that's a dangerous part. If you have a big dick and know how to use it, some people have a big dick and don't know how to use it. Some people have a little dick and know how to use it. And then some people are not rich, but they're not poor. 
And then you got what's the other thing? All right, John, we got it. There's in betweens, bro. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I'm about to explain every in between to us right now. And some people are not tall, but they also not short. <laughs> like I get average, nigga. But that's what most people stand at average. So if you believe you're average, nigga, John, just go out there and search for some average women, bro. Nah, John's John's not average. Well, no, your dick is big, so no, you're not. You don't have you have big. You can you can you can get away with a lot of things with a big dick. Yeah, you can get away with a lot of things with a big dick. Yeah, no, use that dick. I got my own safe position. Yeah, you do, man. He said Otter season. When's it dropping, man? You give him a release date, low? Is that an R and B mix? This this wild R and B mixtape is called Otter season. I mean, <laughs> call it call it a I'm sex position for real though. No, I dead ass think you should. No cap. Just go in there, just make a just make a funny. No, I, I may I'm, I'm gonna make some real music, but just just a joke. I mean, yeah. if we go platinum. I mean, I I wouldn't be surprised. But it's yeah, like, we 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 gonna <laughs> yeah, we gonna go platinum for sure. Yeah, we gonna go platinum. Sure. People be asking about that. No cap. They be asking about Otter season. Exactly. Yeah, we gonna we gonna go platinum. We gonna go platinum. We gonna go platinum, yep. Well, I'm gonna go 98 percent platinum. <laughs> no, 80 percent, 80 percent. What do you mean 80? What? He won the bet, bro, in the Super Bowl. He got 20. No, you missed it. I said if he loses, then I get. It goes down to like two fifths of the percent. I know, but but if I win, he gets to go up. Twenty percent, bro. I remember the. I'm the lawyer, bitch. I remember the negotiation. You know what I just said? I just said if I win, if he loses, there was nowhere negotiated if he wins. Oh damn, John. My bad, bro. I fucked up your contract. I realized that it told me in the comments. I <laughs> <laughs> said you let me astray. <laughs> <laughs> that, nigga, that nigga got his updated chase. Like man, it's still two percent. It ain't changed. Oh man! Uh, so what else? What else? We talked about y'all Valentine's Day. How y'all's getting in? I like that. I like that. I like that. I think both of y'all. Yeah, man. Oh, you think John would be good at um, GTA RP? Uh, probably. Yeah. Is just talk shit while playing GTA. I talk shit. I was screaming at the Leeds fans on, on, on Call of Duty. <sighs> they thought I was the lead, but it was me. Yeah. You play Call of Duty? Huh? You play Call of Duty? I mean, I play it sometimes in there. You don't really come across as a gamer, John. I mean, I just I I play games. I'm not if I play if I play more, I get better. But I'm not sorry at them. Just give me a little time to warm up. But that's what all sorry niggas say. Mm-hmm. No cap, all trash niggas at video games I mean, say. I'm not, I'm not, we gotta have that video game segment, guys. So we can stay I mean, out. Call of Duty takes standing. skill. That's one of those games like it's like I can't just jump in there and just be fantastic. <sighs> you know what I'm saying? Niggas to be sniper. Yeah, that's, that's like a very challenging, Actually, John, skillful game. John, GTA, that's, that's you literally you how it's built. It's built for you to just jump in and be <laughs> good at the game. That's literally how it's built. No, it's not. Oh, John. <laughs> oh, this for our gamer? Could we number one gamer? gamer? John, Gaming? John, okay. it's literally built that way. It's built that way so the learning curve is so easy to overcome that you don't struggle as a newcomer. It's built that way. So I'll jump in and be fine. That's how it's, it's not. It's not be, so man. bad that it's a, like an arcadeish game, but it's it's almost as close as you can get but to GTA, that point. You don't need that. Need no skill. It's just really just fun. There's no skill in GTA. There's skills in all games, but I understand what you're saying. I like Call of Duty and GTA have two different skill levels. Unless it's a luck based game, then at that point it's not no skill. So RP is like basically you jump in the servers and you just do real life stuff. Yeah, like role playing. That's what RP means. Art role playing. Oh, you want to do that, John? Ah, 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 fuck. I had a. T- Twinkle through my toes. Are you RPing right now? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's a weird sensation. Yo, you you gonna role play with us, John? You, you want me to be the nurse? I can. John, you want to role play <laughs> in the game? You missed a joke. <laughs> hey, um, yeah, yo, John, play. you gonna role play, bro? In the game, yeah. GTA, yeah. You gonna do that? That's Please. not. That's not. That's not. That's not. That's not too lame for you, huh? That's not too lame for you. Nah. Okay. Who gonna be my ass? I mean, a lot of people technically could. If they wanted to, they can just shoot you and kill you. Take all your money. Yeah. Now you're poor. In GTA. I just look you're homeless. Low. I just look for love. But then what if I kill you? Hmm? What if I kill you? What if I kill you first? You had no money, John. So you I have to buy a handgun, buddy. You have, to, you have to buy a gun. Yeah, you had no money. You don't just start with that, buddy, old boy. I don't got nothing to lose. If I die, 
I'm broke already, right? <laughs> I die fighting. I take your gun, nigga. Mm, what, can you I take guns? I guess. Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, hope I took your gun. Then my niggas will just kill you once you take my gun. Hope your niggas not really your niggas. Like that niggas. is a fact. Or they can't be your niggas if you broke. Hope I was a rich at one point. And I told him. If you was a what? I was rich at one point. Oh. And I, and I, and I looked out for him. I was just down bad right now, so I need you to look out for me. Nah, John. Yeah, and they turn all them choppers on you. You, you be broke. You be broke. You, you be, be broke. Your speaker, like, yeah, nigga, it's me again. <laughs> That'd be wild if one plane I just hear this nigga John saying, Yo, what's up, bro? I got you lacking. Yeah. <laughs> Put your hands up, nigga. Thank you, right there. Come on, man. Ma- me. <laughs> Yo, low, Bobby. My bad. Get up, bro. I didn't mean to hit you like that. Oh shit. Man. Hey, always also, um, Yo, for the people out there who don't know, I will say this again because I want people to come on the podcast. We get close to All Star Weekend, bro. We need Jimmy Butler. Mm. Oh, he's not an All Star, which is a shame. So that nigga's not definitely not gonna come. I'm, I'm not saying. He not oh, we need Donovan Mitchell. I want D Mitch. Okay, but wait, that means Jimmy Butler could come because he's not an All Star, so he's not gonna be playing. So he won't be too occupied. So he's, he's not gonna come. He's not, he's not gonna come to the city. Fly to Atlanta. Not gonna fly to Atlanta. Oh, you not? No. Well, unless we give him a reason to. Well, with the with the Rona still I like going the way you on, think it, John. I'm about to say, but with the Rona going on, he's not about to. They they the protocol is not going to allow him to just fly around randomly. We wear masks. Oh my god! No, we won't. <clears throat> I just thought about that. Would they even allow that? What they, for them to come on people's podcasts like ours is right now? Probably not. Yeah, without it being no. Uh, with yeah, Damn, not in the middle tough. of the season. That's tough. Yeah, I'm but sorry. any other uh, content creator of y'all in Atlanta, man, come over here, man. Actually, I know all the content creators are gonna be here. Oh, mm, I, like I can't that. say. I like that, but I, like I know them all. It'd be nice. If, I, I, I like actually. That. I mean, you should just start scheduling. Let me know. Yeah, that. I swear. Yeah, you should just start. That's scheduling. Right, sure. yeah, okay. yeah, but Jalen yeah, Brown says you are you are all star. Come see us, man. We talking about how you grew up in the mean streets of Marietta. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that shit. Yeah, they they for it. Everybody <laughs> bullied that man on Twitter to take that video down. He took it down on YouTube, bro. That's tough. He Very just tough. he just he just was there another Marietta? No, there's not another Marietta. He just lied about that. And not only that, he said, bro, he had no he had a mentorship growing up. He was just a, such a cold hearted city. They went to the same school, not the county, the exact same school as Sharif Abdul Rahim. He got mentored by Dwight Howard. <laughs> and this, and this nigga um, grew up in a school, came went through high school. They had a chess club. Yeah, Wheeler, right? Yeah, Wheeler. Yeah, I, I've I've been across the road before. So real nice area. There's literally, literally <laughs> no way anybody can say that. <laughs> nigga was showing dates like the little the crime thing that he was talking about. Mm-hmm. Nigga was like a decade or two old. It was like nigga, this is like back in the nineties. Like nigga wasn't even born yet. What are we, what are we talking about right now, dog? Nigga say he grew up in the West End or something like that. Like, nigga, shut up. Bro. Do research, man. Do research. Do better, man. Y'all, y'all gotta do research. Uh, do better. You had to do research. Do better, man. Also, I can't wait to um, what you call it, man? No, no cap. Huh? I can't. I can't wait to um, move out, bro. Why are you saying that? Me and my girl have our own spot, man. First of all, you don't really need your own spot because you already have a whole floor to yourself. You trying to convince me? I don't really care if you move out. Come on, no, you care. No, I don't. You care? No, I don't. This is his tough, ex- his tough exterior, guys. He's trying to mask it all up. You don't care if I leave? Nah, I mean, I would care. Yeah, exactly. Come on, no hell, you don't care. Come on. I won't be like, oh no, please stay. You're not gonna do that. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. Agent. Y'all been looking for houses forever, man. It's not fucking hard to find a house. Y'all, if y'all wanted a house, you could have packed yourself up a minute ago. Damn. What y'all looking for? Y'all been looking for houses for four months now. Damn. We just been like casually looking at, you know, just things to do and stuff like that. Well, if you want us out, we can leave, man. <clears throat> now I don't want you out. Mm. So you gonna miss me? You mean to? You just want me to beg? You I think miss, that's what no, you're saying. You, you gonna miss me? I want. I want to hear your side of it, man. You wanna, you gonna miss me? Mm, yeah, it's gonna be unfortunate, man. Not you, are you gonna miss walking me? walking downstairs and hearing? But are you going to miss me? Knowing that, like, oh, Marcel's about to waddle. Yo, upstairs. can you just say, it, bro? Are you gonna miss me? Um, probably not. No, you're not gonna miss me. Probably just gonna fill your room with somebody that's like just as funny. Who? I'll come up with somebody. Who? I'll come up with somebody. Who? I was thinking maybe Pete. 
or something like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go with Pete probably. <laughs> ah, you said funny and then led with Pete. <laughs> I respect him more if he was John or something like that. Nah, um, nigga said Pete. <laughs> ain't no way you think Pete funny than me, bro. We're not even saying just it. just as funny, man. He's just as funny. Nah, as he's him. not just as funny either, nigga. <laughs> he's not. Nigga, not, bro. He is, right, John? Right? Ain't ah! <laughs> <laughs> hey, no knock on ah! Pete. Ain't hey, no knock on Pete, but Pete not funny than me, dog. Not funny he's not funny him. as he has his, He has his moments, but it's not him trying to be funny. It's him thinking that him being serious. You, you remember he did at the shoot? That me, uh, me, Kai, and Phantom Key laughed about. We was freestyling. Huh. He was just like, he said, yeah, I'm going to put my fingers right in the pussy. And then, and then he ended the freestyle just like that. I don't remember that. Why well, don't I remember that? <laughs> and, and, and he was so serious. And he had a straight face. Well, his face always straight. But it's just like, he just had that look I can on see him face. doing that. He's so funny. And he did it. And he didn't think nothing was wrong. <laughs> that was funny. But just him making jokes. Look, man, cool down, you're cool not going to be able to find someone as charismatic as me, as responsible as me. You saw how low shimmy then for that for the love video when he shimmyed in? Yeah, yeah. He was doing the one, <laughs> two. He on the couch and all the flowers came out. <sighs> There's love in the air. <laughs> Face sad boy. Nah. Um, you like that, right? Wait, you so, like that, right? You like that, right? So, you know, just, you know, just, for, <laughs> just for scheduling reasons and shit. So I'm not. I'm gonna, time, I'm gonna be able to shoot no cap. What time do you think about moving out and stuff like that? I've been told you it's gonna be probably like April, April May. April May, huh? Is that Willie? That's on his bike. He's so. Is his pocket rocket? Yeah, that's his bike. He's so bored. Um, <laughs> Is he just not getting back? I don't know what he's doing. I don't know about Willie anymore, bro. <laughs> Making some questions. He's just decisions. not getting back. He hasn't been home all night. That's him closing the garage right now. Oh, he probably is. Okay, he probably just left at some point in the morning. No, we've been up. I've been up since nine. I didn't hear him. Uh, he, he, he took his bike out last night? Yeah, he did that because I saw him last night leave the house with his bike. Yeah. Him and his bike. <laughs> uh, you got to turn into Bruce Wayne, no cat. I think he's going to have a whole bunch of just random <laughs> shit around the house. Bruce Wayne. That's like Bruce Wayne just got random shit for no reason. He's <laughs> just shit just pop, stack, pile up. <laughs> nigga, don't even fucking use it. Well, he just got random, <laughs> random shit in there in his house right now. So you're going to leave in April? Yeah. Right on my birthday? It's my birthday, too, nigga. What the fuck? You're you saying like you, like you a special nigga. It's my birthday, too, nigga. So he's he's giving you an open floor, and he's and you give to him a, a, the I might make it into like a sex dungeon. That would be very wild, actually. I'm being dead ass because I can't think of anything else I'd use it for. Just move Willie down there. I get some like ropes. And then that's a very wild thing to do. A whole rack of when like, I come here to record videos and I just like, peek my head down there, just a red light, and then some silhouette of somebody getting whipped down there. Like that's strobe wild. lights and the, everywhere. And the weekend plan. Yeah. That's a very wild. That's a wild <laughs> song to be dominated by. Now you got to be dominated by screamo. Shut up. That, that, that. that shit. You got to be dominated by that. You got. You got. Domination. Try. You can like still it. be sexy. You don't have to be all go ogre. You don't have to go all straight, you know what I'm saying, Mark Henry on her. You can be dominating while oh, still He being. wants to be dominated. But do you, you like to be a dominated with hearing um, metal, hard metal rock? I said screamo. Oh, yeah. screamo. Well, but, why, but why would you be dominated to you be dominated to slow R&B? Yeah. What? Why would you That's be a domi- whole different move. Dominated it's like, it's to like, slow music? It's like soft aggression. Like, <laughs> like, like, so, like you say, remember you said you was choking her? You choking her hard, but Soft and sexy, where it's not like. But that's not being do- just no, that's choking not, someone. That's just like slow, sensual. Slowly, that's sensual. That's just regular shit. But you're doing everything. He gets dominated to gangster you, rap. You doing? <laughs> <laughs> Riding hey, the street hey, in my hey, six hey, four, hey. smacking the bitches, <laughs> smacking the lows. <laughs> He's fucking hit the hardest eight oh eights in the background, just going yeah. crazy, and they get just yelling out. <laughs> Yeah, nobody's. I don't. I, that's not. That'd be kind of odd. That'd be what? throwing off the mood if what I was getting dominated. Dominate so like party rock anthem. 
Party rockers in the house. And what happened to them? <laughs> no, that's not. <laughs> no, it gotta be like it gotta be like it gotta be some gangster rap, man. It's, it's definitely it's not slow music. You know what I'm saying? It's not. It's not slow. Music. So gangster rap like um, like DMX. What? Bob, <laughs> shut down. Open up shop. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, there's a rope ride on the road. Nah, no, yeah, I just, it, no, yeah, I just get, it, I get, it. I get nah. dominated by Pooh Shiesty. You know what I'm saying? Pooh Shiesty be playing in the background. You know what I'm saying? Lil Dirt, that you, paddle you get, be my dog. Yeah, that sounded wrong, bro. <laughs> that Pusha, paddle be my Pusha dog. Shiesty saying you get dominated by Pooh Shiesty is just wrong, man. What you that's, know what I'm saying? He so like, that's hey, that's hey, he didn't go in the studio with those intentions <laughs> for niggas like you to get dominated to his song. He didn't go, yeah, this one gonna really get niggas beat. That'd be wild. That'd be wild. All, the niggas, oh, all my dominated Pooh niggas. Shiesty, my dog. Well, Pooh, you know I'm really shiesty. That's a little dark, though. So you get dominated by Lil Durk. I said Pooh Shiesty featuring Lil Durk. I said that. No, yeah. but I'm saying, you said you get dominated. That line right. gets you, that line gets you turned up. You try to cop I ain't gonna that. lie, that to, I don't know. That's you such a. You got the powder ready. Wait, why right would he say that's the dog? I'm really sorry. I wish you to fire me up. <laughs> oh I ain't gonna lie, though. I fought that line so much, even though he ain't saying really nothing of anything. Nothing. At first, it didn't hit that hard. Everybody started saying, it, like, in a party or something. Yeah. Stop. You didn't get quiet. Everybody just feel gangster. You know what's okay? When you hear that song, when it's a normal version of it, it's that part in that hard. But when you watching the music video and you hear it like everybody saying it one time, you're like, oh, that nigga Pooh so Shiesty is my dog. But Pooh, you know I'm really, you know I'm really shiesty. shiesty. It's just not hitting on me when I everybody see it at yeah. one time. Yeah, that song, I don't know why. That Gucci Man by him. Who was it? Favi did the same thing in. Um, uh, drip and that song, drip, big drip. Big drip. What was that? What was that part in the music video? Oh, big drip. I fell in love with a little. No, bit. but there was a part hey, in the music hey. video where like, yeah, he turned music off and just everybody in the video got real lit. She wanna suck on the hey, hey, hey. hey, there was a, there was a part where he did that and it, it made you want to just get gassed yeah. at that specific part. Oh, yeah, I forgot what I it was. The video again. But yeah, you talk. Good. I know what you're talking about too. I can't remember what it is. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's oh, like G is in. Yeah, oh, the fuck uh, you talking with? I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, don't what don't say that. It's on the podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's what yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, it is. Yeah, though. That's yeah, what it is. Yeah. 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 Man, shit like I don't know why that just be hard. I'll be like, yeah. yo, these niggas going crazy. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? You know what I'm saying? Jeremy Zucker did the same thing in How to Fall in Love, man. What's that? You know what I'm saying? He just had the whole crowd going in the background. I think the reason artists do that, though, Brr. is because um, when they pull up to tours, <laughs> when they go Brr. on tour, they want that to be the part where like everybody gets real yeah. lit. Exactly. So I got it, man. And it works. That's going to be the new when meta. I say, now, when I say, bro, when I say, bro, you got to pay for that, that's how Paul be talking. He from Memphis. I didn't know he's from Memphis. I thought he's from, from Atlanta. Atlanta. Nah, he's, he's from, from Memphis. Memphis. He's, from Memphis. Yeah. he's from Memphis, Tennessee. What? He's from Memphis. He yeah. sounds like he's from in Memphis. Atlanta, man. It's crazy. You know? If you want that shit back, come get it back in blood, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, low. Get that shit in blood. I know you want blood. your shit back, boy. Get that Don't shit in no blood, blood, though. Get that shit in blood. Yeah. Get it in blood, yeah. boy. Oh, um. Make that chopper twerk or something. <laughs> Now he talks And he yeah. don't be saying He don't be saying Not I be really they realizing call me some nobody. point Some, some What do you say Some point two Seven nine point Some Seven point Some guy Because I'm fine that I don't you know, know I don't know I don't know like that I don't, You know I don't know These rappers John I just be listening To what they say And then they you don't really Drake away your spine That <laughs> Yeah. I just be listening to rappers and I know they ain't saying nothing. So I just be like, oh yeah, this it right here. It's just a vibe, man. Big burr. The rappers that don't Big say shit, burr. they have to you have to be if you don't burr. say shit, you gotta I had to be able to feel you though. You gotta have an image. You gotta you know have an image, a nice beat, and you gotta you gotta have a couple relatable lines in there. Yeah, you gotta have those relatable thing. lines for sure. You get it back in blood. And fat niggas will stay silent for a whole oh, like stretch and like, then get hyped for out of nowhere. It's wild. It'd be the worst when somebody you, you rapping a song, you just know the chorus. They had their phone out on you, and the chorus in, and now you start <laughs> open your eyes to start moving your head or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You just start just doing something else. <laughs> you like yeah, yeah, bow, bow, bow. <laughs> <laughs> you start making your own ad lib. <laughs> you don't know the words for real. Hey, concerts are way less fun when you don't know the lyrics to them. <laughs> I know that because I never know lyrics to shit. But one time yeah. I put up to a concert. No, it was a Kanye concert. You sandwich between two diehards. You nigga that don't know the words. Yeah, I'd be like, huh? Well, hey, what's what's coming up? What's that line coming up? You don't know this. <laughs> and it'd be like, 
Uh, this is this is like it, it's from his newest album. It's from the Dark Fantasy Deluxe Track Thirteen, my boy. It's a secret verse. You didn't get the CD. <laughs> I love you, Kanye. Why would I say? Oh, when's, when's, when's the first um crowd concert you went to? It was Kanye. Oh, for real? And I didn't even pay for it. It was at the Pan Am Games. Kanye just pulled up, and I was on the. Parade. How were you? How were you? Uh, I believe eighteen. Oh, 18. I didn't go to concerts growing up. So Kanye pulled up, and the parade team actually got the f- the best seats in the entire uh, center, right? Yeah. So Kanye just pulled up. I went, oh, my God. And then I could tell all the parade guys there. I was like, yeah, I don't know who this is. Get out the way. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was with my way to the front. You snort it? Huh? You snort it? Nah. Do you hear snort? A little bit. I thought you nah, snort it. Yeah, you- hey, anyway. And then, uh, man, it was it just felt good to like know the lyrics to that right there, man. And then, and then Kanye, um, abruptly, like thirty minutes in, just like looked visibly frustrated and walked off. And I was like, oh, this is like a bit. And he never came back. So something happened, <laughs> but it was free for just me, so I didn't it. care. I was yeah, just... He did his last concert. He went back there. It's like ten minutes. It comes back. Y'all wait like an hour. Dang, I feel like Kanye had those diehard fans that would be like. Oh, oh yeah, for sure. Nigga next to me, get on stage. Yeah, he, he for sure. He for sure has those type of fans. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it was uh, it was litty as guess what though. Say. Guess what? What? My first concert was also Kanye. Oh man! And guess what? What? It was free as well. Oh my god! Oh, wow. And guess what? What? It was in an open area like yours. And bro, I was, he's stealing I was, my story. I was right in the front, up up front row, wow. and all that stuff. We all the same concert. It was it was in <laughs> it was in uh, <laughs> Centennial, it was in Centennial Park. Oh Atlanta. Huh? Oh really? Yep. Hmm. Well, mine was in an arena, but it was just really, oh, okay. there was a lot of space. Okay, yeah, yeah, it was in Centennial Park, but this is before Kanye blew up and was Kanye. He was doing free um, um, shows in random cities, and um, this is like this is in the very beginning. Not that many people even know all the songs in in college dropout, and so I was like seven or eight, and my dad dropped me, my cousin Omar off. And Omar at this point? Omar was like six. <laughs> a little uh, imagine a little Omar in a crowd of just grown ass niggas smoking weed because that's what everybody was just doing. Little Omar, and then we all just sitting there just <laughs> spitting. <laughs> oh, niggas are sorry. We all just like reciting this niggas um, verses, and we're just in the middle of a, a concert. No cap. Now that's tough. That's dangerous. That's what it is. We could have got taken that night. Easily, but you did it, man. You're still here, still here, still here, still here, man. And I was like close enough to. I saw like I was able to like visibly see Kanye. Like, oh, that's Kanye, nigga. It'd be a concert if you couldn't. But no, some people are so far back in in the thing that they don't, they can't even like really see who it is. You can't really see like the sweat on his head. You see sweat on his head. Oh no, I can, I, can, I saw him. Like I can I can literally look. I can see his the. His eyes clearly what he was wearing. I was that. That's how close I was. Concerts are like a workout, man. Oh yeah, for I sure. feel for the like when they're like, jumping. Ah, oh, they got to recite the lyrics too the whole time. Yeah, and they got to come with energy the whole time. Yep. And then the song ends, and then another song starts, and they got to do the shit all over again. Yeah, and then they're like, no, like an hour. No, they Way usually have longer. like a, they have like maybe three three four people open for them. Yeah, that might be like an hour and a half, two hours. Then the actual artist comes out, and they might do like an hour hour and a half. And and usually like they'll just they'll start with the songs in their new album. Then usually what will happen is they'll be like, oh, all right, so people not really feeling this. Uh, we're gonna go back to the shit that works, and they'll play their most popular shit, and people will feel that way more. And then they'll play like their biggest song at the very end, and then they'll be and then they'll be like, all right, man, we're about to leave, man. All right, man, peace up. And they'll go in the back. And then they'll run back out and be like, nah, man, we about to play that same most popular song one more time for y'all, man. And everyone gets really, I sort of got, every, like, I'd say 60% of the concerts I've been to was just that right there. Kanye put on, he was um reciting, I believe it was Roses at that album. Oh, that man, that's one of my favorite songs. But it wasn't, this, this is before it came out, though, because this, oh, really? he only had college um dropout at that point. That's a really dope song, man. But but part the part is part of Rose is that he's freestyled on other things. So I, I may, it might just been the verse that he's always freestyled and he just put that freestyled verse on Roses. Um, yeah, he didn't. But Kanye didn't do that because I just assume I'm assuming that the party the like people that Kanye had were always just there for like. Kanye. When did you get your feet done, bro? Huh? When did you get your feet done? 
I had it not, not too long ago. Like yesterday, right? Uh, the day before. Without me? With my girl, I did. All right, cool. That's fine. What, dog? No, it's cool. Dog. No, it's whatever. You jealous, dog? That's one Jesus. thing you don't do. Yeah. Get your feet done without your bro. Hey. He's done it. He's done it multiple times without me. No, I always ask you. You do not always ask me. Uh, I give you do not always. Yeah, bro. After the ninth wow. no in a row, man, I get no, the fucking message, bro. man. No, no. But you know, nine if you ask knows? me, you know, if you ask me, I would have been like, "Let's go." You know, what's so crazy. You know, so what you makes it worse. I went to your spot too. Oh. You know, what's even way crazier. When I went in there in your spot, I put your name down because I thought oh. I was gonna get different treatment. The same way I go to the Indian spot and put Waleed's name down because he gets different treatment. I was like, man, if, I'm going to go here and I'm be like, if I say my name's Dean, they really going to treat me right because I know you're a big tipper. He used your name. And literally came in there like, Dean? I, I, They're I, like, Dean? Dean? I was like, yep. You, say, you, you, you the big tip? Oh, yeah, I did, yeah. Okay. At least he didn't. Yeah, I keep. I keep. I keep I, yeah. He didn't tarnish your reputation. What if he just used your name? And you know. And you know. So crazy. You know. So crazy. <laughs> you know. So crazy. They didn't even ask me what I want. They just. I'm they assuming. Just they just knew. Yeah. yeah. Pedicure. Yeah. You, you, but no. But not just because you know there's like different stages of pedicure. They did the whole nine. They did the feet massage. So they the thought scrub, you were him. They they thought I was him because that's I'm assuming oh, that's what you just normally get. Went on vacation and, and got dark. Cut <laughs> <your> hair. <laughs> oh, they don't care. They don't care. They just. Know? It's like, oh yeah, Dean, black dude. All right, cool, whatever. <laughs> they just like, that's it. That's all they don't. They don't care. They don't get that. They don't care that much. And they don't, they just knew exactly what to do. And I was like, I didn't even ask for all this, but whatever. Oh, so you knew his toes were done because they like your toes. Yeah, it's like your treatment. Oh, yeah. he, he, he could tell. Oh yeah, so that's another thing. I normally don't get like the clear polish, and they just she just started throwing clear polish on me. <laughs> no cap. I was like, I guess. Oh man. Yeah, that's fine. I didn't even want to go. It's, it's whatever. Oh, if you don't want to shut the fuck up then. Yeah, I didn't even want to. He went back to Kanye. Oh, man. Uh, I wouldn't even be interested in going something like that, personally. Yo, John, you ever been to um, a concert? No. For real? Yeah. You want to go one? Depends who it is. I was going to say, we can go, but it's. Go to a really bad one first. It's the wrong one. When you go to a good one, you'll appreciate it. Oh, so I was going to say is that. Go to a bad one first? Mm hmm. Like O3G, though? Or like Lil Tega. I don't know. See here. Lil Tega's bad? Yes, yeah, it, it was atrocious. Horrible. It was so. It was like, a. What was it? Was the one at the um down the street, like by Atlantic Station? I don't know where that is, but it was like it was near downtown. Yeah, it was like Atlantic Station, and that little, it's like a little like a little house. You had to walk up the stairs. I don't remember, but I know I went to the concert with Waleed, and it was just like he didn't. It was like a white kid. He had yes, and they were all high on like Zan something. They were all high on something, TNG. and you could even see parents in the back just sitting looking at their kids. Oh, parents and, too, like field trip. And I felt like a predator because I was like one of the ten percent of people over the age of eighteen, and he didn't like have a stage presence or nothing either. So like they they kept turning his mic down, and he was like, "Hey, well, turn my mic up, turn my mic up." And then they were like, "Nah, but you don't sound good." So they kept turning it down. <laughs> I swear, I swear, it was the most interesting. I heard some concert I went to a tech, tech I've concert, been to, and they said it was good. I don't remember which one it was. I don't know if it's a newer one. But I mean, I've never heard that anybody. That's when he just started. This was last year. Uh, oh man, he, he just he just started blowing up last yeah, year. Yeah, right? this was around the time Whoa, when uh, what he, he had start blowing no, no, up. This last is when year? he had like he had ransom come out like four or five months before, and he had like a few more songs blow up. Yeah, ransom. Him. That's what he just blew up last year. He had songs. It was out. months after that he though. Was underground though, like, I knew of him. No, but. he dropped. He dropped an album. The album that had ransom in it when he dropped that album, that tour. So, so he I was just dropped like, the whole album. But so, then he might not have had that much experience. That's what I'm saying. Performing. But he didn't. But but that was just you know, the. So you pulled up, um, and then like we well, anyway. We just did. we got there, and it was just standing there actually. Because nobody was yeah. sitting because there wasn't enough people. So everyone was just sitting there standing. Mm -hmm. And it, it wasn't even nobody really dancing. It was just like people throwing up fist pumps. And oh. nobody was really rapping to the songs. And the DJ was trying to get people involved. There was one scene where like somebody like threw water that hit like he threw something on stage or something that hit Lil Tecca. And then um, Lil Tecca just like picked it up and signed it. And then I think his manager or something rushed onto the stage. It was like, oh, no, no, no. why did you do that to Lil Tecca? And at first, I didn't understand why he rushed on stage, but apparently not the Lil Tecca because everybody started throwing shit on stage then because they all wanted to get something signed. So everyone was just throwing <laughs> things. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Here's my SB. Wow. 
shot. It was shoes though. A lot of people was throwing yeah. shoes, and so oh, at the man. end of the show, there was some there was some people that still didn't have their shoe back because it was on stage. And so eventually, when and keep in mind, he had people open for him too. Was it so, Pierre? Was Pierre born there? Yes. Yes, there was oh, a guy so named Pierre there. That concert, oh. Yes, and there was one other person um, who was actually Young Bands, it might have been. Young Bands? Yeah, I think it might have been Young Bands, I forgot. But so was the opener better than the closer? No, Lil Tech was better than those guys, okay. for sure. But he just didn't have that presence on stage. He looked like he was just told he needs to tour because it made money. And I actually enjoyed it in that, like, how horrible it was. I feel like he was, he's more antisocial. I mean, like, his music is good, but I feel like he just makes music and just wants to be away. Like, yeah. I don't feel like he has yeah. that crazy. He's not a dancer. He's not like, like no cool lad. Like he just looks yeah. Like a, and I've been to concerts music. where like, even if the crowd is not feeling it, you could tell like the artist is really bringing it. Like yeah. I went to a jazz Cartier concert and it was like in a small facility, but it was packed up. And I knew all his songs because in Toronto, you, when it's a Toronto artist that blows up, so you know like all his this? songs. Just like that. And in his mind, he's like, he's thinking like, yeah, I'm killing this. Yeah, it'll turn the turn the mic up, and they'll turn the mic up briefly, and then bring yeah. it back down like VC like prices. That's just a style. I thought like that's a style. I thought like as he gets bigger, he'll be able to add more special effects. No, but more. when his voice was actually like, John, John, yeah, hey, hop John, on you real quick, John. Yeah. He's not briefly. Getting, he's not getting bigger. No, he will. He you about talking about Tekka? He about to drop yes. again. I think he might. I think he, he might. Drop again. Hey, real quick. Some candles in this room, man. Come Re- well. Okay, what did you? How did you feel about the Lil Tech concert? Uh, Lil Tech concert was like the saddest thing ever. His fans were like, they were just all cringy and weird. Like it was, everything was just was wrong with it entirely. I, I was, we were, I think I was sitting there and I was like, this is the most odd thing ever. I've never been to a concert where I wanted to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was the biggest difference. Where I like, genuinely just want to sit down. But he's a good. I like his music. Yeah, he makes good music. I just did not enjoy the concert yeah. at all. Everybody's yeah. not performers. Everybody's not. Yeah, performers. sometimes just just YouTube YouTube music videos. That's yeah. I you honestly would enjoy that more than going to one of those concerts. Now maybe it, maybe in the city that he's actually from, it'd be a massive difference. Like Tory Lanez in Toronto or like any Toronto like your own city artist. Like that's I feel probably like that the place that y'all went to. If I know if I'm thinking is what it is. The way it was set up, it's, it's like it's like for a starter artist. It's not like no big stadium. Yeah, there was like a no. decent amount of seats, but yeah. there was like a standing ground in the middle. Yeah, nothing crazy. But I feel like we had like, I feel like an auditorium. Bigger, yeah, yeah, like like a school. Yeah, like auditorium. Yep. Um, I went but, to a what's it called? Who? Uh, Ji Prince of New York. Like that was very it was way more small, like like literally a quarter of the size of it, but it was way it was way better. Like it was a fraction of the people, but it was just way better. Like all, the entire audience was engaged. He's been there a star weirdos. for a minute, though, so he knows how to. No, but this works. is this has been this is this is like a year ago, over a year ago. You know what I'm saying? Like he, cause you know, he started off on that show with um that little rap battle thing, yeah. right? Uh, yeah, like, that's what Mul- 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 Mulatto's from there too. Mulatto, oh, uh, that same store, that same little show. Uh, it's a lot of other rappers: Super Peach, Lyric, Young Lyric, uh, Poopy, Autumn Star from the rap game. Mm. So he, he looked totally different. Like I. I forgot that was him because he cut his hair. He got waves. Now he used to have a lot of hair and braces, and he always was lyrical. And they was teaching him how to be a star. So I mean, like, so he 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 with it already. Yeah, he already the, it. like politics aside. Again, I say politics aside. Tory Lanez was like the best performer, like concert wise that I've ever seen. I've been to like I've been to I've seen so many people. I've seen I've seen, seen Travis Scott. Yeah, actually, I've seen Travis Scott, Drake. Concert? I've seen Rick Ross. I've seen Nicki Minaj. Um, I've seen French well, Montana. Well, when did you go to Astro World? Yeah, we yeah, when because that's because Kanye, yeah, because yeah. Kanye, Kanye's changed drastically yeah. since yeah. the also beginning. Kanye too. I got not Kanye too. This is OVO Fest though, so the crowd is right. Oh. Like OVO Fest is literally Drake's you Astro World. You would have got to Astro World. I heard Astro World is the craziest experience ever. Oh, OVO Fest is I would say Drake's Astro World. So it's, it's and it's in Toronto too, and only in Toronto. So it is that fantastic. But even on top of that. Tory Lanez in a in a uh, like a university like I swear I, I didn't pay a dollar or it was twenty dollars to get in best performance I've ever seen like actual perfor- all politics side best this? performer what year was this well, he was kills every, it doesn't matter where it is when he kills every single one just Google Tory Lanez I heard he does crazy I hear he be like just jumping on people every jumping off of cliffs every single time it's just like he does not care about his I, safety I, in his I, concerts I, at I, all I like three Tory Lanez that when you're four two. 78 pounds. No, 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 no. I've seen him like, okay. So imagine, I don't know how to describe it. Like imagine an auditorium with like a balcony. So an, an auditorium with a balcony, I literally watched him like climb over. Like he went and took the stairs up, tried to jump from the top and he like slit his whole arm up. He had to end the concert. Like it was basically the end because he cut his whole arm trying to like jump off a balcony. And he's he like, how it. can I die today? Yeah, he finished I mean, the song. His arm was bleeding and then he left. I, my own eyes. 
He was lit. Maybe one could just get that. But yeah, um, I got stuff to do, so. Yeah. You so know, does have good music Polo G on. said, guaranteed I'm going to be the last man standing. I don't know. I think I think that uh, they go Bruce Wayne told you. Yeah, man. <laughs> Put something I, on I, his I, little. I'm t- what I that shit? You. What that shit? Batman has on his thing. <laughs> What's that shit called? Utility belt. The utility belt. I tell yes, you, that's sir. that's Bruce Wayne. That nigga just buy just random shit. And just say just to say he got that. You love black too. <laughs> yeah, and he wears nothing but black. <laughs> and he does have a a black chrome vehicle. Yeah. And it makes a lot of noise. You get that shit from down the street. Yeah. So you Batman, know Batman coming. No cap. Like, oh, you, you hear that? It'll rock it. Here come, Let's wrap this here, come, up. here come the Muslim. Uh, <laughs> the, Batman. The, Muslim the Muslim Batman. The Muslim Bruce Wayne, nigga. Uh, what would I say? Oh, yeah. I don't know. I think I think um, going to some concerts, because going to smaller um smaller artist concerts like massively hit or miss. It can be like one of the best like concerts ever or it can be like just straight. I think it's the opposite. Yeah. All right. I can go into a large artist is hit or miss. Going to a small artist thing, if you fuck with the artist, think about it, small artists, only people that pull up to their concerts is people that really like them. And but they're if small they, do they venues. know how to perform though. That's the only thing, yeah. They know how to perform. Well, right? the thing about being a small artist doesn't necessarily mean you're new. It just means you haven't blown up yet. You could be doing but that, but that, okay, maybe yeah, refer to yeah. I genuinely artist. think it's a safer bet to go to a small artist concert than a large artist. Yeah, if if it's if it's a smaller artist and they've been established for a while, then you're right. Then that right there is gonna be different. But like if you go into a, a newer artist. artist, it can be hit or miss. Because a newer artist has like a hit song, like a hit song or two, and it's really hitting. Mm. And they know how to perform Oh that's a night that, That's a night now, I remember one time um, I got invited to this event From Universal Music Canada um, And cause I was with Luminosity And that was like Their main sponsor Where'd you go Where'd you go Who did you see And there was some A bunch of Toronto artists Like this Who'd you local. see though? And it was this guy Called Pilla B That pulled up on On the thing <laughs> All right, and he his music just blew me away. And the thing about it is, like, you could dead talk to them afterwards too. Oh, for real? Because they're just local artists. So like, so they, uh, there was a bunch of artists playing on stage, and after they were done, they'd just be walking around. So I just pull up, like, "Hey, it's good, man. I really like that shit. That was dope, man." I realized that when I went to like comedy clubs, and I realized, like, oh man, like these niggas are funny. Like this, <laughs> like legit. Yes, y'all, you niggas like yes. legit, legit funny. But also, it's like when you're not funny. And they don't hit It's like That's probably the most awkward No cap Being on stage Trying to tell a joke And nobody's laughing at you bro It's just dead silent Not even a petty laugh So we can just kind of Get this thing free flowing That'd be the worst That's just the worst Real hard And nobody feeling it And no one is feeling it Like you and that Just giving your heart You just out there just And you And you trying to make this a career And like you just (laughs) You missing every joke (laughs) I think you're better Just looking like I have to drop this <laughs> good one more show. Good one more you show. know the funny thing is, is like after a minute of that of dead silence and there's very little laughter, uh, what will happen is like they'll they'll do something risky where the comedian will like try and poke fun at the crowd, be like, oh, what's going on with the crowd today? Or they'll they'll just bring up a remark and yeah. try and be funny about it. But then that could make things worse though if you don't do it correctly. Yeah. Because then now it's like, damn, you're not funny, and you acknowledge we know that you're not funny. <laughs> so yeah. we need you to pack it up, get off stage, good sir. Or when they when they um when they forget how the joke go, the premise of the joke, and you're like, man, yo, man, Atlanta traffic, man, that traffic, man. Man, that traffic is crazy out in Atlanta, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that you drive traffic- in Atlanta. Yeah, 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 I drive in the yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah that traffic crazy. is crazy. That's man. crazy. Man, it was cold yesterday, hot today. Man, <laughs> that yeah. traffic was really killing me, man. That traffic, yeah, man. Yeah. Like, like, what side of town you from? You live on the east side? Yeah. Ain't, ain't that crazy or is it? Nah, but the south side up north, man. That's that traffic crazy, man. That traffic, man. That man, land traffic crazy. That's, that's like old school comedy. Or John Y'all Floyd. can't see John, but John is I just talking dumb as hell. Yeah, that's that's like old school comedy to like repeat the premise over and over again. I think Kevin Hart is a lot like bit last big comedian to do that still. But, but, like, but even but even that, I understand what that is. I think that that's more so just set it up to make sure they understand like we're going to the next over and over again though. At the beginning of the joke, in the middle of the joke, they'll reinforce the premise like oh, Yeah, man. Well, that's, okay. that's that's why women these days act like this, man. And then they'll continue telling the joke. It's like women these days, right? Like they'll keep bringing up the overall premise of the joke. 
Oh yeah, that part, yeah. Especially if it's a longer joke. But I'm talking about like niggas who just legit forgot it. Yeah. And they're just like, like yeah, trying to they just trying to man, that traffic. Hey, what's man. your name? What's your name? What's your name over here? My, my name my name's Bob. Bob, Bob. What you what you do, Bob? I'm I'm an accountant. Fuck, I can't think of nothing funny for that. Hey, you, what's your name? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's the worst. It's like, man, y'all, y'all ain't laughing out here, huh? I ain't that man. It's a dead ass oh, fucking yeah, ask, crowd. Ask, ask me, ask me what I do. Hey, John, what you do for a living? Um, I watch, I watch unfortunate kids, orphans. Make a joke. Fuck, I ain't nothing funny hey, about you that. You right there? What you do for a living? No, they they still try to do they. That's those are the worst that's orphans. Good. Yeah, those are those, <laughs> those are the worst. <laughs> those are the worst communities. When they see when John say that shit, and they like a challenge. Yeah, <laughs> I'll make I'll make them laugh off of unfortunate orphans. Yeah, you say something just real sad, they'd be like, oh, they'd be like, are you sure? Go ahead. That's why I came here for for a good laugh. <laughs> <laughs> try, but I really don't want to. You're a comedian, right? <laughs> it's okay. Oh, but there's a there's a dude who's paraplegic who does that. He <laughs> go he goes to comedy clubs and sits front row, and he he <laughs> wants him to make he wants him to make fun of him. And it makes him feel uncomfortable. It makes everyone feel uncomfortable. He's like, hey, man, he's like, the front hey, row. He's, <laughs> he's you pull up in a, you. you pull up in something like different. Like you say you don't have no legs. I'm like, say, shit. tell me a joke. Tell me how I can never walk again. <laughs> tell me something I can't do. <laughs> Maybe laugh. Had a long day. Niggas just be on stage looking like, uh, let's see somebody else. Oh. <laughs> He's like, no, 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 no. I'm right here, I'm right here. Most right comedians here. would be willing to make that joke, though. Uh, it Mo- yeah, most. It depends how big nah, you are. I think most are willing to try it, but they know for a fact they swing and miss, it's going to at least be horrible. Like if nah. somebody has like a disorder or something like that, if I was a comedian, it's like, even though how funny it could be, it just, it just feel bad. No, they don't. They don't give a fuck about it feeling bad. They want to make sure it works, though. Like huh? com- comedians know that the audience likes that shit. They like. They don't like you being nice. If you if you're coming across as nice on the stage, they're not fucking with you. They want you to come across as like belligerently rude. Oh, like so that. like let's say let's say you start talking shit, heckling. Right now, the rest of the crowd oh, is, is gonna true. band together in laughter. At, in hopes that the comedian is good enough to destroy you to the point where you have to leave the building but banter, because you're that's, furious. That's different though. The heckling thing, but they, that's just that's just the rudeness in general though. Like if I see you right now and like you have the top of your head shaved but the sides is there, yeah. they would expect me to make the make fun of you. You know what I'm saying? If uh, I pull up late to the concert and I'm fat, like I'm expecting to receive sent some fat jokes. Looks like you long, so long to I, get here. I, I, but no, no cap. Stop like a set, just said, <laughs> no, no, no cap. When Lee gave us these tickets to go to this com- this club, comedy club. Oh, yeah, you when you did that without me too? Hey, trust me, you would not. He only gave us two tickets anyway, but you don't. You didn't want to go. We literally ordered food and then in the beginning, the first comedian was trying to, I mean, he might have just been like the opener or whatever to kind of get everybody warmed up. He, Which I'm pretty sure that's what he was. He was trying to get everyone in the crowd to make a, a trap song. But instead of a trap song, it was a it was a twist. It was like a poor trap song. So he was like, "Y'all say EBT, y'all say food stamps, y'all say." And he was like, every time he points them, they'd be like EBT, like like some dumb shit like that. And then we we're like, "All right, we're gonna go ahead and just get out of here." So then we stood up to leave, and it's like literally five minutes into the thing because it was like that's how bad it was. And you're like. Yo, y'all leaving already? Yo, what's going on? Y'all leaving already? And I was like, "Yeah, we are." He's like, "All right," and he just let me walk out. But he didn't. He definitely was not expecting me to just say something. And he was like, "Oh, okay, all right. I guess they are." All right, guys. EBT, and then he started playing music in the background. I was like, "Man, that got worse." That's tough. You know what the toughest one is? Is when the host, the MC. Is funnier than the comedian. That's the word. I'm like, yo, just stay on here. <laughs> like, no, man, stay. Bring y'all, the MC back. Like, yeah, nice. y'all laugh. Oh my god, oh my god. So we forgot the comedian. Come on out here, John. Go ahead, John. And they be like, no, am I right? <laughs> you don't even look funny. Oh, n- niggas don't be screaming. You're awful. I'm like back on the cartoons. Golly, this niggas awful. <laughs> <laughs> oh my money. Hey, when I when I went to when I went to the comedy club, my girl, when you got upset, we can go with you. That was a, that's the first time I've ever heard somebody say like, oh, that wasn't a good joke. 
Like it was so quiet that some when somebody said it, everybody in the fucking room heard it. And I was like, "Why did y'all say that?" To this nigga is awful. And nigga, I was like, "Why y'all say that to her right now?" Oh, what made it worse is that the the closer the go the dude was closing, he went first because it was the last show, so he wanted to hurry up and leave. And I was like, "Man, so you tell me it's gonna get worse?" This? He told like two or three good jokes. The host was is very similar. Like the host is actually. More energetic and, and and definitely funnier than um everyone else, and in the first one at the first comedian after the um after like the the main dude and the host, she just wasn't funny, and then niggas immediately like, oh man, this isn't funny, and said it. He's trying to be quiet. And I was like, nigga, she heard you, dog. Like, why would you say that out loud like that? And for the rest of the night, it was awkward. It was just oh. like, bro, no. My bad. Just random thought. Anybody know where get Girl Scout cookies from? Y'all seen them yet? No, I think it's March. March or April. March? Oh. Because someone had some the other day at my job. I was, I was parking the car, so like, Girl Scout said, are they here? They didn't give out Girl Scout broccoli. They didn't give out broccoli. Moving forward. They gonna run out of business. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas not buying that by the box. <laughs> steamed broccoli, man. Get your steamed broccoli. We got cheesy broccoli, seasoned broccoli, full broccoli, short broccoli. I'm be honest with you. I need I need to know when they come out because I haven't had Girl Scout cookies in two years yeah, now like because those, I keep missing it. I want those lemon ones. Some lemon ones I want. They, they have, remember they had an app because they kept selling. They have they had an the, app. They had the Girl Scout cookie app. You can find out. Yeah, they make so happy. Yeah, did the Boy Scout cookies suck? I had it. They got Boy Scout popcorn. It's not cookies. It's got popcorn. Damn, they kind of got the bad end of the stick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not buying popcorn, but I will buy some cookies, though. I'll buy some cookies. See, Girl Scout cookie out. Girl. Oh, it is. It's underway. Yeah. There's no way y'all excited about cookies right now. Cookie season for the Girl Scout Ooh, of Girl Greater Scout Atlanta is currently underway. Wait, which one, which one are you looking at? Guys, there's plenty of cookies. I just said Greater Atlanta. They got Oreos Wait, at the store. See. Chips Uh-oh. Ahoy. There's one. It's a Girl Scout cookie app, though. Oh no no I'm on the site. Yo, let's wrap it up because I gotta give me some cookies. All right, Are you right now? I'm being so serious. I, gotta, right I have to get cookies. I have to get girls. I have not gotten girls cut cookies in two years, bro. I gotta let's do, do it. it. Let's do it together. Oh, you're invited too. I don't wanna. I don't wanna buy cookies. I, I don't want you to be. Have like you good. had girls cut cookies before? I'm trying. Do they to... have that in, in in Canada? You don't have. You don't have to eat the whole thing. Oh, just there's eat no a girl. Bit. I don't know if there's girl or boy scouts, but we used to sell chocolate. Was just school competitions. Even, Nigga, have you ever had girl scout cookies? Yes or no? No. Not you gotta get some. Then you, you don't, don't have to you eat don't them all to get one box and just. just yeah, you don't know. You just don't know. You don't get, get it to the summer. I'm trying to be healthy though, dog. I mean, Shut the fuck up and eat these cookies, three cookies nigga. Won't, three cookies won't hurt. They might. Three though. boxes, nigga. <laughs> that might hurt. <laughs> <laughs> but three, nigga, five to six cookies fruit, a day. You never had girls cookies. Just, no, just go in the uh, go in the garage and grind them out. Get some extra pumps in for them cookies because you're gonna like them. Hey, bro, that shit does not. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really a cookie kind of guy. Cookies is delicious. You don't eat the cookie. But I don't really be eating cookies, man. You don't eat the cookie? How's it compared to a Chick Fil A cookie? You don't eat the cookie. You don't eat the cookie. How's it compared to a Chick Fil A cookie? It's definitely better. But better. You don't eat the cookie. You don't eat the cookie. Like significantly. Enough for niggas to wait for a whole year yeah. <laughs> for it to come back and buy multiple boxes. Yep. Yeah, Chick Fil A. You, you don't eat the cookie. Hey, I'm not answering no further questions, also, Your Honor. Chick Fil A cookies are not. They're not that great. They're prepackaged. I didn't say they were great. I just asked you how good they were compared oh, they're, to. They're, they're definitely better. They're good. They're better. You don't eat the cookie. All right, guys. Thank you for joining us on the Peer to Peer Podcast. You I'm your host, Asian Zero. You eat that cookie. Huh? The video is available on YouTube. Oh, you I know Lowe muffled the intro so he didn't get a chance to stay, but the video is available on YouTube. If you haven't already, man, make sure to subscribe. Hit the notification I bell. And make sure to go. No, the gang, 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 gang. I did that. Man. John is the one who Apple Podcast people. I, I didn't do that bad. They may fuck with that better. It's just, Apple Podcast. John, they're not going to fuck with your I rendition know. of an intro. All Apple. Apple. Podcast people, we're at 3.6k five shots. Get that to 4k, man. Y'all ain't dropped a five star yet. It takes two seconds, man. Go ahead and do that. Spotify, Google whoa, Play, whoa, Stitcher, whoa, man. Whoa. Thanks for showing love, man. Make sure to say a big fuck you to audio, man. I didn't miss that. Yeah, he did. John, make sure to get that right there. And, and word of mouth people, man. As soon as he said that, too. Word of mouth people, man. Appreciate y'all, man. Y'all been showing love, man. Y'all been showing so much love, man. Fuck. We've seen memes of us on the internet casually now. Just why about to go eat them cookies? That's so fun. All right, man. We'll catch you guys. Oh, yeah. in the Make next sure y'all don't, y'all don't want to miss the next episode because it's a special one. Yeah. Will it be? Remember that shit. Oh, it's a special one. Special one. It's it's 
It's the girl he he uh, he matched up with. Wait, are you serious? I'm serious. It's going down. So this is this this I ain't gonna lie, that's gonna be a very uncomfortable part. This part this is the part they don't want to 